<laughs> not gonna lie, I kinda didn't think I was gonna stream today because I was really tired, but I'm not anymore, so it's fine. I'm not tired anymore, so we're chill. <laughs> but hello! I just saw my mom. Being weird. I was like, okay. That would also be a good idea. Oh, it's weird to think that I could be done with the MSQ today. Like, until June. I was kind of eating. I mean, I did wake up at like 5 a.m. this morning. Completely against my own will. But, you know. <laughs> but it's fine. 7 a.m. for me, that's that's understandable. You're up early actually, what the hell? <laughs> that's considerably earlier than I than you're normally awake. I need to go to Empty. I need to go to Shalia. You know, listen! My brain's I, I literally like passed out for like two hours earlier. I I don't know what time it is anymore. <laughs> I, I I don't I don't have a sense of time anymore. <laughs> but it's fine because Final Fantasy. I think I feel like I fell asleep early on accident, so now I woke up early. I mean, surely that's a good thing. Surely that's a good thing to happen. <laughs> Not. You know, having a shit sleep schedule is normally a good thing. But you know, you do you. I went down to the wrong place. I went down the wrong harbor. What does it mean I gotta keep that? Gotta keep that up now? Yeah! That's how sleep schedules work. <laughs> You got. You gotta keep doing it. That is. That is how sleep schedules work. But I suck at it. You'll be fine. And there's totally no other evidence to prove that you won't be. Where well, this has happened before, and then it got immediately fucked up immediately afterwards. There's no evidence of that. <laughs> None whatsoever. You'll be fine. With the tank's transportation thus arranged, our first task is complete. Yeah, no evidence, of course. I lost all hope for trying to get a sleep schedule. I kind of have a sleep schedule. But then, you know, sometimes my body just wakes me up at 5 a.m. And it's like, you know, fuck you. And here we are. <laughs> we may now turn our attention to the second. To wit, obtaining the blessing of the Ilsabad contingent to use the Tower of Babel to channel energy onto the moon. Our destination is Camp Broken Glass, where we may present our petition to Commander Lucia. Hell yeah. To Garlemald, baby! Someone's played Bosnia. Not Bosnia. Fucking... Eureka. <laughs> I really want that mount, but I do not want to play Eureka. Because <laughs> I want the funny orb mount, but I don't want to spend my entire life doing Eureka. <laughs> Hi, Lucia. I actually haven't seen you in a while. Mia, allow me to thank you personally for your assistance during the recent void sent incursion. Your actions saved many. What brings you here today? Uh, we want to, to use Tower of Babel. Pray forgive us for not sending word in advance, Commander. But we seek your cooperation in a matter of great import. So, there's people in the 13th who want to come to this world so they can die, but in the process that they're, they're going to kill a bunch of other people because, you know, they're void sent. Uh, so we want, and they're living in the moon on the void scent, so we want to use this to go to the moon in this world to open a portal to the void, to the 13th, so that we can, so we can then 
go to the moon of the 13th and kill them. Anyway, indeed, we appreciate you consulting with us instead of taking unilateral action. It is no simple matter to activate the Tower of Babel, and I speak not only of the technological challenges. Personally, I think we must consider the emotional impact of such an action above all else. Pending a more official name, we refer to those who remain here as the Garlean community. As you would expect, they are predominantly native Garleans, most of whom are uncomfortable with ethereal manipulation. Fair. Considering all the shit that happened to them recently. To compound matters, the trauma inflicted by Anima is still fresh. If the tower were to suddenly light up again, it is likely to cause distress and reopen old wounds. Better that than facing a mass invasion by Golbez and his void sent hordes, surely. Of course, we acknowledge the gravity of the situation, as well as the promise as well as the promised bloodshed should we fail to act. Yet, even were we to convey our warning to the public, many simply do not understand the workings of magic or the rift. They will struggle to comprehend why they must be forced to relive personal horrors for the sake of something they cannot imagine. Hello, Mordecai's a master of metal. <laughs> Amazing username. I'm doing good. Hello. What's there to imagine? Haven't these people send, seen Void Scent with their own eyes? How are you doing? Let us suppose you encounter someone who's freezing in this cold. A natural thing you might do is to uh, a natural thing to do might be to make them a fire, yeah? Wrong account <laughs> Fair, hello brain. But what if that person's sole experience with fire was being badly burned by it, and they harboured an acute fear? Despite the benefits, nay the necessity of the warmth you offer, they may flee on instinct. Or worse, misinterpret your actions of for aggression and lash out. So like the fire that torments this individual, the Tower of Babel torments the people of Garlemont. I love old middle school emails. Yeah, that's fair. Thankfully, I never had one of those, so I just used the one that I've been using all my life. <laughs> Which isn't some insanely cringe thing. <laughs> Yet we cannot afford to falter here. We must find a way to help them overcome their fear. I agree. To that end, the contingent will assist however we can. We should speak with Alfino and Alize. With the report they have established with the Gallian people, I dare say they can provide us with valuable insights. Sure. In the meantime, Arianche, might I ask as you remain here to oversee the technical aspects of the tower's activation? Cool, cool. You're a Tertian. Okay, I'll just tell something. Hi, Alfino. The world's at stake again. I'm glad to see you, Mia. Reacher has explained our present dilemma. There's no unfounded concern that the Garleans may take poorly to the reactivation of the Tower of Babel. That's putting it mildly. Many would be up in arms over it. Trust in the Elsabod contingent is fragile, fragile enough. We need to tread lightly, or we risk jeopardizing everything we've achieved. <laughs> Trust. Well, it seems to me that there's naught to for it but to speak with the people. Rather than harping on about the necessity of the plan, we need to lend an ear to their concerns. Then, perhaps, we can begin working towards a compromise. In that case, I'll take you to meet the community leaders. They're at, they're at a station called Senatus, near the Senaculum Imperialis. I'd be honoured to speak with them, though it'd be prudent to learn where the where people elsewhere stand as well. But that I will leave to the others, save Zero. Might you accompany me? Zero is so cool. Ah! 
Ah, my door's open. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm sure those in the tapestry will have their own opinions. I'll you know if I may drag you along. Tarshim, we leave to you. You are no stranger to the people here, so it should take little prodding to convince them to speak freely. Sounds good. Then it's settled. Once you've learned all what you can, let's all meet at the Forum Solius, where we'll have, where we'll have what I hope is a productive dis discussion. Sounds good. Oh, that's a lot of people to talk to. Okay. Right. That's what happened in this one. <laughs> Hello. The Tower of Babel. What's that? But what's it got to do with Void Set? I can't say I understand. Still, your people have done much and more for us, Galleons. If you say it's necessary, then that's good enough for me. That's good. That's a good start. I'll never get over how eerie the music in this place is. Whatever its present state, the Imperial Palace was once the pride of Galleons. I mean, dis no disrespect to you and yours, but shouldn't the Galleon people be its caretakers instead of foreigners? Though if we dared speak thus to some of the contingent, they might make assumptions, cut our rations, or worse. N no, no, forget I said anything. Please. Aww. I get why she'd be like that, though. He's used to Gollum old. Hello. Activate the Tower of Babel. Are you out of your mind? That abomination transformed my friends and family into monsters. I can't even bear to look at it when I, whenever I step outside. If you want to do something for us, tear the bloody thing down. Yikes. Big yikes. Hi, fine. That tower isn't right. All those magics. Years ago, when I lived in the provinces, the locals raised our village to the ground with the stuff. Made things appear and disappear and fly and burn. I'll still see it when I close my eyes. You've done us a good turn, dear, but let's not talk about that tower any longer. It's unnatural. Okay, then. Hello. No, stop it. The tower is evil. It'll turn us all evil. I don't want to hear it. Leave me alone. Well, I think I know the consens consensus in this place. I'm pretty sure that's a, that's a, that's a mostly a no. Kind of sucks, but you know. Yikes. It's okay, though. It's chill. It shouldn't be for too long. Hopefully. I get where they're coming from, though. I really get where they're coming from. Gollumold wasn't exactly the most hospitable of places. It's so crazy how they make you, f how different they make you feel about Gollumold. And it's people throughout the entirety of this game. Same with the Asians. It's really cool. Hi, Zero! Ulysses is on his way with the others. 
I hope you found the people more receptive than we did. Yeah, about that. Yeah, about that. Hi. Mia, yeah, may I present you Lord Naeus and Metius, magistrates of our political council. They have been spearheading the efforts to establish a new system of government here. When we raised the subject of the Tower of Babel, they insisted that we speak no further until joined by representatives of the Ilsevan contingent. I, I see Alfino and Alize yet have yet to arrive, though, so perhaps we should wait. It doesn't matter if only some of you are present. We simply wish to, wait, wish to make one thing perfectly clear. The Tower is the manifestation of Gallian ingenuity and authority. Was once the abode of the imperial family, and will forever bear tremendous cultural significance. It's insulting enough that we have to suffer have had to suffer foreigners occupying it under the guise of rendering aid. And now you propose reactivating it. Nay, we have had enough. The Garlemald of old may have fallen, but she fell in civil war to her own people, not to Eorzea, nor any other land. We came here to assert our unequivocal claim to our territory. Gollum, and all that lies within her bounds, is beholden to no one. Yikes. Please reconsider. It's literally for the sake of the world. Literally for the sake of the world, but okay. A fallen Empire. Since their excellencies are resolved to negotiate with the contingent, I'll escort them to Tertium. I'll also instruct Alfino and Alize to meet us there. Lord Metius, Lord Naeus, by your leave, my comrades and I will speak with the residents of Senators. Though the Elsapad contingent holds the Tower of Babel, it is I who wishes to be, for it to be reactivated, and thus I think it meet that I pre be present for this discussion. Yet my understanding of your people's hardships, of their hopes and desires, of their dreams for the future, is sorely lacking. In my ignorance, I would struggle to co contribute. Lest you worry, I will not plead our case to the community in your absence. I wish you only to identify a common ground, upon which we might build a relationship that sees us overcome our differences. Very well. But know that the guards will not hesitate to escort you from the premises should they judge your actions to be inappropriate. If it's settled then, you should all head to Senatus. I'll join you there after I see the Ar their excellencies safely to Tertium. Okay. Where about? Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay. Ba 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 ba. Wee. Oh, this this game. This game really is something else. Holy shit. Crazy. This area is so cool looking. I know it's literally just ruins of Gollum with the Tower of Babel watching over it, but oh, it's so cool. I'll never forget coming here for the first time. That was insane. Seeing all of this for the first time was actually crazy. I loved it so much. Now here we are, nearly at the end of the MSQ proper, which is crazy. Here it is, Senators, a temporary refuge for political di dignitaries, hence the tight security. I'm given to understand outsiders are not normally permitted so much as a glimpse inside. We should consider ourselves fortunate to be given this opportunity. 
What am I running on? I'm running in the, the full guys right now. I hope it will be worth the, worth the trouble. As do I, Zero. As do I. Yeah, it's the full guys right now. To begin, I propose you split up and ask the res residents for their views on the Ilsgard contingent and the current state of affairs. We would also do well to learn more about this enclave itself. Should you observe anything of note, pray keep it in mind. It is through open hearts and open minds that I believe we may yet convince their leaders to work with us for the greater good. Yeah, there was a Fall Guys event, a, like crossover event, like months ago at this point. Like around Halloween time. It was cool. I still have some of the outfits from it. The stockpile of assorted supplies bears markings indicating they were provided by the Elsabar contingent. The enclave is clearly reliant upon the Alliance for aid. Okay. Hello. You want to know what I think? I'm a soldier. I try not to think about politics at all. I'll say this much. Our leaders labored to preserve our culture, our way of life. What remains of it, at any rate. I'll trust them to do what's best for Garlemald. Okay. How about this barrel of cerulean? You recognize the large cask as the very same you and your comrades used to transport cerulean from Lapis Manalis. Why their incentives is unclear. Huh. Huh. Okay. We weren't expecting him to be here. How do I feel about the contingent? Conflicted, to say the least. I've been tasked with the distribution of supplies, and I know as well as any that we couldn't survive without without outside aid. Be that as it may, even though the Empire has collapsed, we have our pride. People don't want to be beholden to others forever. There's no denying that it chafes to see our benefactors occupying the Imperial Palace. Yikes. People really don't like us, even though we, you know, literally saved their lives. But okay. What's up, Fashion? Finished on the enclave, have you? What you what were you able to learn? Uh, people are iffy. Much the same as me then. They accept the contingent's help out of necessity and harbour a measure of resentment. They only have themselves to blame. If they don't like the bargain, they should reject it. How many times must I tell you? It's completely out of the question. What? Who? Who yelled? What's going on? We were wondering the very same. We came running when we heard shouting. Is all the matter? Oh, n no, I was just trying to explain. Oh, mayhap you can clear this up. The contingent has made a reasonable request, but this man insists that it is impossible. He can turn some magitech weapons which run rampant through Regio Urbanissima. Every time we deliver supplies here, we have to dispatch extra men to defend against potential attacks. To address the issue once and for all, we propose the elimination of all machina that loiter near the supply route. But you heard him, they refuse to even consider it. The magistrates already spoken on this matter. Rampant or no, these war machina are Galian assets. Furthermore, who is to say they're as dangerous as you attest? It's been suggested that this could be a pretense to scavenge magitech material for your own ends. I know, not, I know not if that's the case, but the fact remains. We cannot allow you to destroy them. More speculation by the magistrates, I presume. Ridiculous, but they have spoken, and I, unless we want to inflame tensions further, there's not what we can do. How complicated relations have become when not grounded in a clear and equitable agreement. An 
equitably. Of course. <laughs> well, I do understand the difficulty of your position. As a soldier, you must do your duty and obey your superiors. I have an idea, but I first must first speak with Commander Lucia. May I take charge of this man? By all means. What's that? Let us return to Camp Broken Glass, where you might suggest discuss a solution I believe will satisfy all parties. Okie dokie! I don't know why I'm walking. I can just teleport to Camp Broken Glass! Lucia! Lucia! We want to talk about stuff again. We might have figured out a way to get people to not be mad at us. Welcome back, all of you. I pray there have been positive developments in your efforts to appeal to the Garlean community. Eh, about that. Mayhap not yet, but there is a method by which I believe all, all stand to gain. As Satra, I intend to propose a trade agreement between Ratsatan and the people of Garlemald. Ah. Oh. That could do it. Please continue. people of this nation have lived through its collapse and more, yet they have chosen to remain where it is their home. That they have been able to survive thus far is thanks to the Ilsapod contingent, or rather, in less flattering terms, they are entirely at your mercy. Despite your noble intentions, this one-sided relationship has fueled feelings of frustration and resentment. It's no surprise then that some Gullians are loath to engage with foreigners for fear of indebting themselves further surrendering more of their already limited autonomy. That is why I wish to present them with an equitable uh, arrangement, one that would restore them to them a sense of agency after having been forced to rely upon charity. Huh. Easier said than done. What exactly did you have in mind? Long have Garlemald and Ransathan been been abided of Bubba, abided by a treaty of non interference. Freely have we traded with one another, and I wish but to continue in this tradition. We would provide your people with such supplies as you require, in return for which you would grant us leave to the Tower of Babel, as well as share your magitech resources and expertise. As we become more reliant upon your technologies, we will of course require more ceruleum to fuel them. This you possess in abundance, and for it will be duly compensated. As at Han's culture it will be enriched, enriched by your magitech wonders, and our ever increases demand for your wares will see Garlemald grow wealthy and prosperous. Only when both sides keep the interests of the other in mind can an equitable relationship be forged. It is a principle I once thought I understood, but have come to appreciate it all the more in recent days. Thanks to the sage counsel of our friend beyond, from beyond the rift. Ah. Your Excellency, your, thank you for your careful consideration of Garlemald's future. Though I cannot speak for every Garlean, I myself see no reason to reject your proposal. Indeed, if Radzatan were to take the initiative. Other nations could may follow suit and seek to normalize trade relations with us. If you see the sense of my proposals, then I ask you to join me in the negotiations at Tertium. Your support may be instrumental in winning over Lord Naeus and Metius. By all means, go with them. I have matters here well in hand. 
I have learned all that I may regarding the tower's operation, so I too shall return. Shall hire me to the Tarshi. Hell yeah, baby. Trade routes. Back to Tertium. Thank God there's an ether right there. Hello, Matthias. A crown you may have brought, but, but numbers will not intimidate us. The Tower of Babel is ours by rights, and nothing you do will help convince us otherwise. Rest assured it is not our intent to infringe upon the rights of the people of Garlemald. Let us instead discuss the future. As the satrap of Ranzatan, I wish to establish a new trade agreement between our nations. The aid we presently receive will not last forever, my lords. Sooner or later we must stand at our own two feet. But to do so, we must secure a means to replenish our coffers. And the proposed agreement proceed presents a rare opportunity. Have a good rest of your day, Brian. Thank you for stopping by. Hmm, it is true we do not want for Magitek and Cerulean, and foreign currency will be needed to procure such things as we lack. It would depend on the precise terms, but I can see the merits. What? I can't believe what I'm hearing. You serve the Emperor. We're a proud patriot, yet you now entertain selling national resources like a common merchant. Like you, I weep for what we have lost. But if we are to be rebuild Garlem, we must make use of what precious few assets remain to us. Nonsense. Utter nonsense. You're a traitor, Naeus, and there will be a reckoning. Oh, yes. When the people of Senators learn of this, they will cry out for your blood. Old people, am I right? Lord Metius, wait, it isn't safe out there. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. It's far too dangerous for a civilian to be outside alone. We must go after Lord Metius. Let us leave Madison here in Maximus' care while the rest of us join in the search. If Lord Metius is bound for Senatus, we may be able to catch up to him in Regio Urbanissima. I pray it's not come to any harm. All the way up there. Okay. Off we go. <coughs> ba -ba. Slowly making our way there. Well, hey, it's faster than, you know, walking, but still. This way. And that's most of the map of Garmold uncovered. I just need to get stuff to the top right, which I can do another time. Where is it? Over 
choose. There he is. Hello. Just gonna shoot you a couple times. And we'll be fine. Anyway. Hi, Matthias. You're welcome, by the way. Oh. I'm alive. We did say it was stupid to go out here alone. Praise the sisters, you are safe. Ooh, voice acting. Don't think I'm indebted to you. I never asked for your help. Okay, fine. Die then. You Fucking love gold gold dearly, Lord Metius. That much is plain. But you're not alone in that. <laughs> we all mourn what has become of our homeland. True. We bristle at having to rely upon outsiders simply to survive the cold. Even now, I struggle with fear and uncertainty. Day after day, I ask myself, what is right? Mm. Where do we go from here? Mm. I've yet to find the answers. Mm. But I won't stop <coughs> looking nonetheless. And I won't avert my gaze from our grim reality. Hell yeah. You tell him, Eulis. Is there hope for us? Of course. We, we literally... That's what we're trying to do. Trying to generate hope for you. So by making it so you can rebuild and stuff. I it's literally what we're trying to so do. Long as we live. Stupid old man. Gollumold lies in ruins, but the bonds between us will never be broken. We are the chain that connects generations past and future. True. You and I, it's links. Help us, Lord Metius, for all we have been and for what we may yet become. Please. Oh. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> to be lectured by the young man, it ill becomes a man of my station. Oh no, boo hoo. I will rejoin the talks at Tertium. Might I trouble you to escort me? Ere we part, I apologize for my discourtesy. I owe you my life, and I thank you. You're welcome, I guess. Ulyss, wait. I'd like a word. Zero? What's up? With you as well. I'm to stay close, after all. Sure. What's up, Zero? Worry not, we shall see the Magistrate safely back to Tertium. Okay, here we are, Jay. It's gonna take you a while if you walk that slowly. What is it? You bound that man with trust, didn't you? That's why he did not require coercion to return. Uh. Oh, zero. Shall we walk, perhaps? Chilly, standing around here. <laughs> That's not the way to Tertium. It's 
So that's how Zero came to join you. Yeah, she's kind of a void scent. Still, I'm not sure I'm qualified to explain something like trust. <laughs> I wouldn't describe myself as a sociable person. Before all, yes. Any free time I had, I spent looking after my brother and sister. Yeah, that makes sense. As for the magistrate, I only told him what's been on my mind of late. But I wouldn't have done so, I think, if it weren't for the twins' influence. <gasps> Alfino you know, and Alizé mentioned. Trust is infectious, in a manner of speaking. <laughs> when someone believes in you, it makes you want to believe in them, in others, in yourself. Yeah. Perhaps it's because the Magistrate felt that earnestness that he gave us a chance. As I did, after I was caught trying to steal provisions from the enemy. Trust comes easy in such company. Yeah. Little wonder my world is devoid of it. Oh, zero. No one trusts in you, and so you trust in no one. And round the wheel turns. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. During the Contra Memoria, we had already zero come backstory. to judge one another based on strength and usefulness. You either used or were used. Oh. Those who rejected this rule didn't survive. Oh, that's not good. My mother wanted to save the world. Oh. To fulfill the hopes of Memoriad's good and true. Oh. After she died, I carried on her mission alone. Yeah. Alone? Didn't you have anyone to help you? Almost. Two men tried just the once. Mm. A swordsman and a mage, whom I met when passing through a village. Huh. They had saved the people there from corrupted memoriads. Yeah. When they learned our enemies were the same, they seemed heartened. Mm. They claimed to be soldiers of a kingdom called Baron, and were traveling the realm in search of a means to end the Contra Memoria. Huh. They invited me to join them. I refused. How could I not, having learned the lessons of my world? Oh. Those who would work with others always have their own motives. I would not place myself at their mercy. I would oh. not be forced to submit. Zero. I expected some manner of outburst. Some show of frustration at having failed to deceive me. But they simply watched me walk away. Yeah. I didn't know what to make of it then, but now... Perhaps they shared a bond of trust. Yeah. Perhaps they were the last ones left who dared. Oh. Perhaps they hoped I was like them, too. Perhaps it was just an offer and nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Zero. I continued fighting alone. But ultimately, I was undone. Overwhelmed by enemies that had banded together. Yeah. I was cold. In pain. Wishing desperately that someone would save me. Aww. And as I lay there in solitude, I felt it happen. The breaking of our world. Oh my god. Darkness washed over me, <clears throat> and I was swept into the rift. Oh my god. When I finally managed to return, it was to a world forever transformed. Yeah. My home. Now filled 
with abominations. Yeah. This is rough. I had a chance to learn about trust and forsook it. Oh. I never had the power to save my home single handed. I should have accepted their invitation. It's okay, everything had I joined them inside. as I've joined you, I might not have had to face the end of the world alone. Oh. But it's all history now. No amount of reflection or regret will change our present reality. Fair point. Whatever may have happened in the past, you're still here, Zero. Alive. True. So long as you're alive, there will always be hope, no matter how bad things get. <clears throat> what you couldn't do yesterday, you might still do today. Yeah. Think you're here, aren't you? It's plain that you've forged bonds with those around you. <clears throat> if you didn't feel that in some sense, would you have risked your life as you did for a meager ration of boots? True. I trust you too, for what it's worth. Oh. Oh. Zero. Here it is again. Who's wrong? The fire that burned in my breast when you came to my rescue. The urge to weep so there is no sorrow. Oh. If this is trust, then what must I do? How do I answer it? Oh. <laughs> Give me your hand. <gasps> it's not something you do constantly, mine. A friend is a friend regardless. <gasps> a friend. So that's what it means. <gasps> Someone you trust. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this game is good. <laughs> Thank you. I feel as though at last I've found the answers I sought. And I owe it all to you and Euless. Right then. I expect the others have already arrived back at Tertium. We should join them. Oh my god. It's insane. Voice or no voice? Well, glad am I to see everyone returned. And none the worse for wear. Various representatives of the Garland community are gathered here at this very moment. I dare say this is a fine opportunity to announce this trade agreement. You've read the memorandum. I trust you find the terms accept acceptable. 
I do. And Aeneas, I pray you forgive my disgraceful conduct earlier. I'm ashamed not only of my behaviour, but of placing the burden of negotiation solely on your shoulders in my absence. You should know that when we when we felt were brought up the subject of the tower's reactivation to the people at Tapper's Den, some reacted quite strongly. Once we explained that it would be to prevent another void sent invasion, however, they were more receptive. It's fair to say that the recent episode is still fresh in their minds. I tagged along to deliver a supply of cerulean. I have to say, I didn't expect to see such a large crowd. Even the stuffy Imperials who normally keep themselves in Senatus are here. <clears throat> My friends and countrymen, lend me your ears. I'm pleased to inform you that on this joy I'm pleased to inform you all on this joyous occasion that we, the people of Garlemald, have entered into a trade agreement with Razatan. To inaugurate our accord, we intend to grant the individuals before you access to the Tower of Babel. In return, Razatan will provide us with supplies, which shall be equally distributed amongst the settlements of our nation. Let me be clear on one point. This is not an act of charity, but trade. A bargain struck between equals, rooted in trust and respect. It marks a significant step towards rebuilding our nation and regaining true independence. Rasatan holds Galian technology and ingenuity in the highest esteem. It is my hope that, through this agreement, our peoples will enjoy a mutually beneficial relationship for years to come. Now then, we bid you gather round to hear the particulars, that you might convey them to those elsewhere. So burdened by hardship and trauma were the people of Garlemald that they were unable to imagine a brighter future. We recognize as equals as a nation of, with something of value to offer to others. That validation alone isn't enough to rekindle their hope. It is by virtue of this par partnership that we may access the Tower of Babel. A rather timely development given the Ether Tank's so impending arrival. Once the tower's stores have been replenished, we need to but await each dollar's signal to channel the energy to the moon, yes? Then you can leave that and anything else on this end to me and Alfie now. No need to worry. Dev devote all your energies to the mission in the void. As ever, I am in your debt. Yeah, you're good friends. Aww. I love Zero so much. I really hope nothing happens to them. I really hope nothing happens to Zero. They're so cool. She's so cool. Luna Rendezvous. Been a while since we've been to the moon. Let us take a moment to review matters as they stand. Having procured sufficient stores of ether, we may now channel the requisite energy unto the moon via the Tower of Babel. Hell yeah. Our work on the star is complete. Nice. However, we have yet to receive word from Ishtola as to the state of the lunar preparations. Yeah. A ritual to open the gate <clears throat> and measures to forestall a void sent invasion. Mm -hmm. Neither task is simple nor quickly completed. Yeah. 
she will doubtless benefit from our assistance. The very thing I was about to propose. Let us join her above and lend what aid we may. Ere we set forth, however, Ishtola did bid me relay a message to thee. Yeah. As thou art well aware, a key objective of our mission is the extraction of thy sister Ajdaya from the void. Held captive for millennia and divested of an eye, she is like to be severely weakened. True. To make good her escape, she shall require aid. <clears throat> aid that is best provided by a fellow great worm. Oh. You would have me go in my true form. Very well. Like our sire, we great worms are capable of traversing the great expanse. The journey will take some time, but I shall take myself to the moon. Uh -huh. To begin with, I shall return this vessel to Radzat Han, that I may have both my eyes. And until such time as we find Ashdaya, I will entrust her eye to your keeping. Hell yeah. You can count on me. Will you do this for me? We shall contact you via Link Pearl once all is in place on the moon. You need but follow Ishtola's instructions. Sounds good. Understood. We'll be ready. <coughs> Hell yeah. Take care, Zero. It will be the briefest of homecomings. I'll be back before you know it. Hell yeah. God, I hope nothing happens to her. She's really cool. I don't want anything to happen to her, but considering she's a void sin. Uh, <laughs> but first to the moon. First to the moon. It's so cool looking. It's so cool. I need to come here more often. I need to take more G poses here. <laughs> I took the liberty of informing Ishtola of our arrival. She and her entourage should be here momentarily. Sounds good. Forgive me. I'd hope to have everything in order sooner. It's okay. But thanks for the extra hands. We got things done rather quickly. <laughs> Alfino and Alice stand ready at the Tower of Babel. Vritra is also en route. Excellent. You've done well, all of you. For my part. I've managed to prepare the ritual with help from the Watcher. Hell yeah. Let's go, Watcher. All that remains is to channel the ether from below. This should, I pray, open a gate leading to the moon of the 13th. Sweet! 
May I just say how excited we are to be a part of this grand undertaking. Uh -huh. The development of the artificial atomos was one thing, but this is an opportunity like no other. Oh, Nidana. Ishtora even managed to get a loan of elegant treatises on voids and summoning from oh, the prized collection of the sons of Saint Koinak. Oh shit! The Empire's application of ethereal chemistry in regulating void gates provided us with many a useful insight for our work, let me tell you. I asked a favor of Grahatir when we were comparing ah! us on cross rift travel. Given his credentials, I was confident he wouldn't be denied. Oh, he, he has like the most credentials of anyone. The knowledge of our forebears has brought us far, as has our own. And with our knowledge and resources, we shall construct a void sent containment seal on a heretofore unseen scale. Containment seal? Then thou wouldst make use of. Aye, a tried and tested means of holding dark entities at bay is readily available here. It would be remiss yeah. of us not to employ it. True. We shall reforge the brands that Xenos and Fan Daniel destroyed. I was thinking that. That which held even Zodiac shall more than suffice for Void Center. Oh yeah, if we can hold Zodiac for millennia, we can hold a couple Void Sent. The watch <coughs> is already hard at work, tending to the most critical parts of the brand's restoration. There are, however, a number of concerning factors that remain. With your help, I'm sure we can resolve them. Time is of the essence, so I suggest we continue this discussion as we make our way to the brands. Mm -hmm. Where are we going? All the way over there, sounds good. God, it's been a while since I've seen this. All the way back at the level 83 quests. <laughs> Those definitely were something. I thought Zodiac was going to be the final boss. But my god, I was wrong. <laughs> now then, the matter at hand. With the Watcher's assistance, we shall reforge each, Zodiac, each of Zodiac's brands and use him to erect a barrier capable of repelling void sets. So yet, though we expect it to be effective against larger beings on account of its original purpose, there is a chance it would allow less avoid sensors to slip through. Therefore, we shall require a second line of defense. I believe the Lopard supporters would be suitable for this purpose. Rionje, Mia, the two of you have a strong report with our lunar allies. I would have you meet with Livingway in Bestway's Barrow to, and, and provide any assistance they require. I will join you, as avoid send my knowledge may be of use. An excellent idea. In the meantime, the rest of us will see to reforging the brands. I'll send word when we have finished. Pray do the same. This is such a cool idea. Like, reforging the brands that held Zodiac? It's such a smart idea. I don't know have heard this song, too.
Living way! <coughs> there you are! You still don't surprise me for your present undertaking. I understand that she wishes to deploy our pride and joy, the veritable carrots of our eye. Our unrifled combat supporters as a precautionary measure in this case in case this voids and containment seal of hers proves lacking. As you speak, up my fellows are rounding up what units they can, and we'll bring them to the northeast corner in short order. Please wait there. seeing this for the first time. This is crazy. Oh, I remember just going to the moon thinking, realizing we were going to the moon for the first time. That was insane. That was just a regular thing. It was just a day trip now. <laughs> Okay, living way. Whoa. Hello there, friends. I'm, I'm having way. I heard there was a bit of a rush, so we gathered what combat ready supporters we had available. That's quite a few, yeah. A welcome <coughs> contribution. Thine initiative never ceaseth to amaze. <laughs> I love the Lockwoods. Though we have fulfilled the purpose given to us by Hydlin, aiding the people of Atheris remains our Sleeping duty. Way! I love Sleeping Way. So you can count on us ever and always. Hell yeah. Sleeping Way mentioned. Look at him. Right. So, we originally deployed these supporters to patrol the moon and keep it safe. Yeah. They never tussled with Void Scent before, but with sufficient data, they ought to hold their own against the ghastly fiends. Hey. Practical, tactical data acquired in the moment. And who better to give the supporters an educational thrashing than the champion of a Ethereus? Sure. I believe I would make a yeah. better instructor. Considering, you know, she is void Not sent. only have I fought void sent, I am one. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> Even sleeping way. Oh my god. Well, don't just stand there. Engage. <laughs> Engage. 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 Oh, sleeping way. I love them so much. I love them so the much. That are rather than the bitterest current. Using this experience, we must enhance the supporters and turn them into voids and slaughterbots. Okay. Indeed. Right after we've managed to put the poor dears back together. Yikes. Pray forgive our comrades' enthusiasm. May I inquire as to how long the repairs will take? On an ordinary day, I'd say no less than five carrots must be consumed. But 
But if you were to provide us with encouragement. <laughs> yeah, mapping way. We just might be able to do it in two. Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> this I leave to you. Thanks, Hero. <laughs> the noises. I love the love words so much. I love them. Love words eyes twinkle with anticipation as they wait await your buoyant exhalation. To wait the young for you to rally their spirits. You first, sleeping way. Oh, sorry, I was in the midst of... Forgive me. The sight of precision parts is strangely soothing and sleep-inducing. But I'll try to keep moving. Mm. Hi, Mapping Way. Yeah, yeah. I'll cheer you on. What a marvelous feeling. There's nothing like a wild gesticulation of encouragement to fire you up. Sure, bro. With you cheering me on, I can do not less than my very best. I don't know how you made those noises. Those are very robotic beeps and boops, but sure. <laughs> oh, thank you very, very much. You don't know how uplifting it is to be to have you encouraging us. Uh, I mean, uh, showing us the proper techniques and we may sub keep our supporters operating at peak efficiency. Sure. Hi, living way. Bye, everyone is in high spirits indeed. Thanks to your encouragement, we'll have the supporters up and running again in no time. Pray attend to your remaining busy work and leave the deployment for our, of our new and improved void sense slaughter bots to us. <coughs> uh... Hi, Living Way! There they go. Oh. Can you hear me? Yeah. We've just finished restoring the brands. Perfect. That was fast, actually. Let us reconvene once you've finished tending to matters there. The Whoa. culmination of our efforts is nigh. Whoa. That looks so cool. <clears throat> that looks so cool. I'm so excited. The red side of the moon. Oh, we're doing it. The brands are ready, I presume. Excellent. With the love words having deployed their supporters, we are ready to proceed. Let us rejoin each dollar post haste, and prize open our our gate unto the void. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're actually going to do it. We're actually just going to just going to go to the 13th, the moon on the 13th from the moon in the source. That's cool as hell. I'm turning my heart off for this. So I can take in the view of the moon. That. Where's, 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 uh, 
There it is. So cool. God, I love this game. God, I love this game. Anyway, hi, Ishdala. My thanks for seeing to the supporters. With this, all is in readiness for the ritual. First, I shall give the order to Alfino and Alize at the Tower of Babel to channel Ether to the moon. Once we've amassed a sufficient amount of energy, Rionje and I will begin our incantations to open a void gate. If all goes well, a tear will form in the fabric of reality, at which point you must activate the brands put in place on the containment seal. Sounds good. That is all. If there are no questions, then let us begin. Here we go. Apologies for the wait. The preparations here are finally complete. Excellent. The tower two is activated. But give the word, and we will begin channeling the ether. Hell yeah. Very well then. Make it so. Hell yeah. Here we go. The moment of truth. The moment of truth. Let's do this. Oh, they pushed the button together. That's so cute. There's a Theris. There's the beam coming from a Theris like we saw in the past. So this time it's to help, not hinder. By the sisters. Oriange, commence your invocations. It is time to open our gate. Let's go, Ishtola. Let's go, Yonche. Come on. Ooh. A tear is beginning to form. Quickly, activate the brands. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool! Phew! Phew! Here we go. Brand's activated. Nice. Oh, you stole Did we do it? Did we succeed? Success. The gate is open and the seal appears to be in place. Hell yeah. Let's see how well it holds. Yeah. go the tiny guy little guy what an enormous ape lord goldbears will be eager to hear of this yeah Get zapped, idiot. Get zapped. 
I dare say the seal doth serve its purpose. Sounds like it. Uh oh. Oh, Fritra! Hi, Fritra. We did it! Indeed. Just this moment, a voice scent emerged from the gate, by which we may safely assume it leads to the 13th. It's incredible, Ishtola. Truly incredible. Oh, what an honor it is to have been part of this historic achievement. Aw, Idana. A part is an understatement. None of this would have been possible without you and yours. True, actually. Our success has also served to solidify our understanding of cross-rift travel. Hell yeah. The Asians rejoined reflections to the source by instigating elemental imbalances. These imbalances weakened the barrier between realities, causing the ether of a reflection to flood the source. Yeah. But why is it that reflections are predisposed to rejoin the source? Why have they never merged with one another? Thou art suggesting there is a unique property inherent to the source, one responsible for such an outcome. That would make sense. I am. It is my conclusion that, as the point of origin for the reflections, the source has an innate pull over them. That would make the most sense. Heidelin, I believe, sought to suppress that pull, which is why she was created with the power of light, of stasis. Meanwhile, the power of darkness, of activity, reigns in the void. Yeah. Heidelin's influence would naturally be weaker, and this <clears throat> manifested in the form of planar fissures. That makes sense. Working with this hypothesis, I set my sights upon where the pull was assessed to be strongest. And through our combined efforts, we succeeded in opening a gate to the void. Hell yeah. Now, I must stress, it was because we sought the void that we succeeded. Pleased though I am to have my theory proven, the secrets of travel to other reflections still elude us. Yeah. Sadly, no crossing between the first. Even so, Ego. in the reality that lies beyond the eighth umbral calamity, there are those who found a way to reach the first. Yep. I will not rest until I do the same. One step closer to fulfilling your dream, eh? Aww. Justinian. Just a step. Many more remain to be taken. Still a step. Which further motivates me to forestall a void sent invasion. Yes. So come, let us set forth to find Ashdaya and put an end to Golbez's plot. Hell yeah. Climb upon my back. I shall take us to the gate. Okay, Vitra. As we did discuss prior. I shall see the alchemist safely home, and okay, yeah, together okay. with the Lotharites, maintain vigil over the gate. Mm -hmm. May the sisters watch over and keep you safe. Oh. You too, Nidana. Here we go. Here we 
go. Except this time we're not falling, we're riding on Retra. <clears throat> if I see Hodge on. Oh, here we go. Into the void. Do I get an echo? Do I get a vision as we enter the void? No. Whoa. Whoa. It literally is just red. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this is awesome. This is the moon of the 13th. It seems it. So cool. No void sent. A rather more subdued reception than I had anticipated. Yeah. But unsurprising, given how jealously Golbez conceals the location of his domain. Yeah. Still, we must remain on guard. One of his minions came through the gate, after all. True. And more may lie in wait. True. I do not sense my sister. Where could she be? Where? Hmm. <clears throat> Steady, Vritra. We've barely arrived. Let us explore our surrounds before drawing conclusions. Yeah. Good luck, Retra. Oh, this is so cool. This game is so cool. I'll play the area. This is awesome. The surface of the moon is a dark, grim shade of crimson, a consequence of the flood of darkness, perhaps. It's crazy. No matter how you strain your eyes, you find no signs of life. No dire directions extends a desolate waste without it. <coughs> Look at the planet. Oh my god. It's crazy. Hold your breath in an attempt to catch the faintest noise. Save the sounds of your comrades, there is nothing. So far, you have failed to find any clues as to Az Azdaya's whereabouts. Perhaps Zero has noticed something you did. 
spells near him. Yeah, I think she noticed something I miss. The chasm has caught your attention as well. Yeah. Hard not. What appears to be a structure inside. There's some manner of structure below. Worth a look, wouldn't you say? Oh, absolutely. I too sense something here. Mm. This pit much resembles the cradle of darkness on our moon. Yeah. Where Zodiac was once imprisoned. Yeah. If this place serves the same function, then a fragment of his power must have been sealed in the depths. Mm. Strange, though. When Zodiac perished in the source, I presumed that every aspect of him was thus unmade yeah. and his power scattered. But it's unmistakable. The darkness that permeates this abyss. Could a trace of him yet remain? Or is it something else? Hmm. Hmm. Hi, Petra. Whoa. Ah. Oh. <laughs> No. Oh boy. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, we're just here. Okay. And where's... Okay. Oh, he's speaking Draconic. Trusted with Ajdaya's eye, were you not? Yeah. Oh. Here we go. I like how slowly it's moving, something's gonna happen.
being one of the men named Bogus. But so we need to kill so Golbez. Indeed, Golbez's domain. <clears throat> you can't have a will if he's dead. Well, if it weren't for us, we wouldn't be able to get to you, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's been, you know, millennia, but it's okay. Now then, does this great worm intend to remain a captive meal for all eternity, not daring to test her chains? Can you tell us? Yeah. I see tar no hole in. Hmm. Do es e mesh e go so caso u no more. Shall we look into this spot near and dear to our enemy's heart? Oh, what? Oh, the piano in this place goes crazy. Oh, it's so cool. Mouse? There's mouse. This game is so cool. <laughs> we gotta be nearing the end soon, right? At least of 6.4. Girls have already begun to search for clues. Let us do the same. I'll take charge of this area. You can see to the south. Off we go. Da da da. Off we go. This game is fucking crazy. I can't ride a mount here. There we go then. Hi, free trap. Yep. 
A glint from beneath a rock catches your eye. Oh? Did you find something? Apparently. A memoria. But who knows? A memoria? Oh shit. Oh. <gasps> Echo. Ooh. Wait a minute. Is the mage? Who was with the sword fighter that that, that, that she was talking about? Was is 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 that? Oh! You have lied, pillaged, and murdered. Have you anything to say in your defense? That voice is familiar, <laughs> isn't that Ruby Conte's no. voice? Every one of them got what they deserved. Trust in fools. Like you would be heroes. Aye. You do well to keep a close eye on each other. Mm. It always ends the same way. A knife in the back. And better to have the handle towards your hand. Jesus. You'll see. Oh, yes. You will. Chill out, bro. E yikes. In death, may your soul find salvation. Yeah, this I can't out. bring myself to pray for the unrepentant. You're a nobler man than I. That really sounds like Ruby Conte's got come now. We're all shaped by these dark times more than we can care to admit. I choose to believe that had these men known peace and plenty, they would not have been consumed by mistrust and avarice. Victims of the Contra Memoria, then, like so many others. But we will end it. Thank you. I shudder to imagine what might have happened if you hadn't dealt with the Dark Ones. Hmm. There she is. Who is that? Oh, her? She's like you, I hear. Hunts memoriates taken by darkness. Well, well. A kindred spirit. Perhaps we will finally have a new comrade. Hmm. Hi, Sierra. No. I've no interest in working with others. Much less someone who looks as suspicious as you. Damn. Is that so? If there's nothing else, I'll be on my way. Zero. Even when we share the same goal, we can't overcome the mistrust. Such is the way of things. The wisdom of our era. Only a precious few memorials remain who cling to the light. Or that we could have won her over. We'll make do, old friend. We have accomplished much already. And another person may well have been more of a hindrance than help. 
Now then, our work here is finished. Yes, so. His Majesty has summoned us, so let us not delay. To Baron. Had another vision of the past, did you? Yep. And I think I know of her. What? I was in it. It's them. The pair I met in that village. Which means the one sealed in this memoria is... Yep. So, I you this. have come, you who would oppose our crusade. Tranqui. Oh. Yep. How are you just remembering this now, Zero? I know you. I pieced it together from the start, baby. The moment they didn't Is show exactly so what the mage looked like. enough that you have managed to retain your mortal form but to remember your past besides but that is of no moment you are the memoria who vanquished my minions correct and what if I am then I would bid you join me as a child of our world and slave to the wheel. Fight with me for the salvation of all our souls. Fight with you? More like fight as your pawn. It mm. isn't me you want, but my power. And if I don't obey, you'll bind me like you bound that dragon. But no more. I refuse to be bound ever again. I fight only for myself and for those in whom I trust. My friends. I see. A pity. It is for the dragon that you have come, yes? When first you appeared, I thought simply to remove a threat to our plan. Never did I imagine that you would reach this place. I mean, it was not... I mean, it was rather difficult, but you know, it wasn't that difficult. Oh no, oh, 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 oh no, oh no, oh, 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 Ashtaya. The darkness is ravaging her. She's becoming a void scent. Oh no. Oh. 
Sucks. Kill him. Oh. Oh, me too. I'm sorry. Whoa. <clears throat> oh, me too. No. I will admit she looks kind of cool, though. But God, this sucks. Stinian? Keep our guests occupied. Let's go zero. Let's go, Stinian. I will, Vritra. I promise. Before darkness swallowed the world, I fought tirelessly in a war without end. Mm. The experience taught me to discern the strong. That dragon and you. <laughs> yep, I am definitely one of the strong. I saved, I did save the universe after all. What is that? Um. Um. What? Oh, this is cool. You. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Come face me. Gladly, Golbez. Rest assured, I need no invitation. Let's go! Time to call upon the power of the duty finder to find seven more people to do this with. A cursed light. You, who have ever basked in its warmth, could never understand our envy, our agony. You will not deny us our release. <coughs> The void cast die. Dice? Only dice. It looks like a dice. Oh, here we go. I don't have a high enough item level. Shit. Damn it. Uh, do I have stuff in... Uh, healing... Six oh shit. What's the highest earring I have? Mm. 
bracelet with a bracelet. Now we can do it. There we go. And now we wait. This is the second time we've used the M's crystal in in India in the in the 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 the, the, the. post game. That's the word. Second healer already? Damn. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Oh, this is so cool. Ugh. This game is awesome. How is this? We're not even on 6.5 yet. I thought this would be like a 6.5 thing. What's 6.5 gonna be? Cause this is still 6.4, I'm pretty sure. Cause we haven't seen the like the, the like the little title thing of 6.5 yet. What's 6.5 gonna be? I love when we use SM's crystal to summon people. I hope this continu this theme continues in Dawn Trail. I really hope so. <laughs> Cause it's cool as hell. Is he, first off, how did he get so tall? Second off, how did he get so tall? Because <laughs> he didn't seem that tall in, in, in Zero's flashbacks. Come on, there's got to be more people playing this game. I know it's only like, you know, like 8 a.m. at in, in, in like, the, like the, the, the West Coast and stuff, but still, there's got to be people playing the game. Please. Ah. 
<sighs> Honestly, I might mute the music again and just listen to Open Sky. Because Open Sky is such a good fucking song. I love it so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that. Hold on. I'm, I'm getting Open Sky open. Wait. <laughs> I search open sky, it's the first thing that comes up, baby. So this music is totally not fitting for this scene. <laughs> okay, this bit, this part of the song, maybe. <laughs> God, the music is so good. This song is good. I need the lyrics to this song. He's up somewhere. I need to know the lyrics to this damn song. It's so good. Oh shit, we're going. Uh. 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 Eh. Go. Here we go. That's fast. Void cast die. Die, die. Eighty minute few yikes. Night in black Goldez. Here we go. Hey, both are healers as ages. Expect no mercy. To destroy you, I shall bring my all to bear. Well, so will we. Come, warriors from beyond the rift. That's cool. Here we go. Fighting on the moon in the 13th is awesome.
No. Shit. Oh shit. Oh, this is cool. Oh, that's awesome, actually. Wait, that's so cool. Wait, that's awesome. What? So cool. Ashdai's Shadow? That's the name of a move? Oh. Hello, Cinnabunny. Hello. My meteors will extinguish your light. You join me as I'm freaking out over this fight. That's my turn. No way. This fight is awesome as hell. Going pretty well for a first try. Server took my grid. Oh, no! Oh, that sucks. Oh shit. Oh shit. Dragon, hear me and obey. Look to the heavens 
I was doing so well too. Fuck. <laughs> I was doing so well too. And now I just keep dying. <laughs> Hey, we did it. My First try. First try. That was a cool as hell fight. <laughs> Surely it's over. Surely nothing will happen in six point five. Surely. Thank God that cube didn't land on anyone. Double click the fortress to come before that. Oh shit. I didn't know that. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. I don't know. All best. <laughs> at last, the moment is at hand. What moment? We we killed you. You may have bested oh. me, but not quickly enough. Too late will you look to the chasm. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Ashdaya, what are you gonna do with Ashdaya? Retraft! Oh, Retraft. made manifest once abided in the depths of this abyss. Uh -oh. Until one day it dispersed in a haze of ether. Yeah, let's just stand here, let's just stand here and let him do this. Yeah! Why are we doing nothing? Nowhere to return. Why are we letting him? Why are we letting him do a thing? Uh oh. Now feast, feast upon this dragon and its ardent longing for home with it. Uh oh. Why are we only now moving? Something that doesn't go. Stop. I'm sorry, girls are pretty. I'm 
Yeah, I think I think From we I think we fucked up. Of ancient and newborn, an entity without equal shall emerge, one who shall tear down the barrier between worlds. Uh oh. Upon you, who shall deliver us from eternal damnation? Uh oh. Bestow the name of a hero of Eld. Oh. Yeah. Zeromus. Awaken. Wait a minute. That has zero in the name. I know a person named Zero. War hand. Holy shit, it's Origin from Xenoblade Chronicles 3. <laughs> no matter how powerful, a void scent can be sealed in memoria. I guess, yeah. Come on, Zero. Oh hey, the follow boss from FF4. Oh. Uh oh. Oh uh oh. Uh oh. Who is that? Who is that? Who just fell into the void? Damn it. Someone, so, someone's memoria just fell in there. Who? Whoops. Warning scale. Oh no. Yeah. We must retreat and return to me. Well, I guess I know what's happening in six point five. <laughs> I don't know if she's savable, my guy. <laughs> so are you gonna actually die or what? Because we did kill you. So are you just gonna like actually die or... No? Okay. Hi, Zero. We made it back safely. Damn, that's it. Okay. The Dark Throne. Okay, so this is the end of six point four. That's the name. Of the, that's the name of the patch. In the light of this development, that we escaped with our lives is an accomplishment unto itself. Or that we could have anticipated Ashdai's yearning to return home could be manipulated in this fashion. Alas, we must now contend with a newborn void sent hell's bent on breaching the rift. And one with such prodigious strength. Zeromus must unlike is unlike anything I've ever seen. So named for an ancient hero as God said as Golvez said, though none can say if there is even a sliver of truth to the legend. Perhaps Golbez chose it in the hopes that his champion will do that which no one could in Contra Memoria. Save the world. But a true hero would not damn another world to save his own. And we're not about to let that happen, but regardless, we need to regroup. Yeah, we need stronger warning scales. I, low that I, though I am to admit it, we are in no state to face a void scent of Zeromus' might. Reacher, not least of all, in, in body and mind both. But now let us return to Razat Han and take stock of the situation. Very well. Mia, might I trouble you to head for Best Ways Barrow and apprise the Andre of the situation? Sure. The rest of us shall attend Reacher's wounds before returning to Razat Han. Pray join us, Serenon. Holy shit. Holy shit, holy shit. Holy shit, holy shit. 
holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Oh fuck, this sucks. Holy shit, oh fuck, this sucks. Off we go. Ah, Mia, thou art returned. I am pleased to say it has been blessedly uneventful in your absence. But more importantly, what of your mission in the void? Heavens forfend that Ashdaya should be used as a, to birth a dread void sent born, born of Zodiac's residual ether. Although we could not have predicted this outcome, uh, uh, there is one small mercy the void sent containment seat. As we employed the selfsame brands that once imprisoned Zodiac in, his cre in its creation, the seal should serve to hinder Zeromus. And for how long, none can say, for our enemy's strength is unknowable. Whilst the bow was erected, the barrier was erected in haste. Thou shalt join our comrades in Anon to deliberate measures, yes? And I shall remain here to maintain my vigil over the seal. Should we observe signs of an impending incursion, rest assured, I shall send word without delay. Go well, my friend. Okay. I can do to we go. Uh, uh, Ah, oh, Mrs. Mia, we've been expecting you. When the Sartrop and your comrades returned earlier, I couldn't help but notice they were in low spirits. Oh, but it's nothing too serious. Yeah, sure. But forgive me, you must be eager to join them if you would follow me. Chirietto and Farfarello. Yes. The cowardly pair of void scent that dwelled in my domain. Yeah, of course. Chirietto devoured Farfarello. Yes. And in so doing, he inherited an all consuming fear of Babariccia. For as you know, when a void scent is devoured, it doesn't simply cease to be. Its soul persists within the devourer. Yeah. And when a void scent dies, all the souls that harbored may break free to become individual entities once more. Yeah. So if we kill Zerumus, <coughs> we could theoretically get Ashdaya back. That is to say, by defeating yeah. Zeromus, we may yet save Ashdaya. And to make certain that we do, we must remind her of who she is. When the time comes, you must call to her. 
call with all your being. Yeah, but I'm also concerned about the, the, the fucking memoria that you dropped into the void that, that Zeromus was in, but okay. Settled. Uh, Our objective is to defeat Zeromus. While it is unsettling that a void scent could be born of Zodiac's ether, yeah. its very nature may render it susceptible to the brands that once contained him. What about it? Did Orionge have aught to say? Mm. That it should hold, but not we don't know for how long. I see. If the seal may not hold for long. Then haste is paramount. Yeah. Couldn't we just let it come to the source and strike it down here? Do we really want it to get to the source though? Doing so would consign Ashdaya's soul to the ethereal sea. Any attempt to ensure her survival demands that we deal with Zeromus in the 13th. I could barely go near it. Never mind land a blow. So thick was the shroud of darkness. How do you propose we fight such a foe? Simple. Against impenetrable darkness, we must wield resplendent light. And it just so happens, there is a world replete with light. True. The first. The question of how we will harness that light, you may leave to me. With our recent discoveries and proven techniques, as well as the aid of comrades near and far, I have faith that we will find a way. But only if I begin my work at once. Rest up while you can, for there will be much to do when I return. Hmm. It wouldn't do to be idle while our esteemed sorceress labors tirelessly. I shall be training if you have need of me. Well, that'll be much to do in 6.5, bro. <laughs> Wait. Allow me to join you. I must become stronger for what lies ahead. <laughs> da -da -da. Fine by me. Come on then. I shall not pass my time wallowing in despair. Using my vessel, I shall attend what preparations I may. Okay. Ashdai is my sister, and long have I dreamed of saving her. But if I am to do so, it must be better than I have been. Blessed though I am to have you and yours as comrades, I cannot well ask you to lift me up every time doubt and despair peep into my heart. I won't falter again. This I swear. I will hold fast to my conviction, Mia, and I pray that you will stand with me to the last. Ooh! Meanwhile, on the moon of the 13th, is Golbez dead yet? Yeah. Because <laughs> we did kill him. Or at least I hoped we kill him. No, he did. Okay. Fine. Okay. Fine. I guess we didn't kill him. Wow. Whose memoria fell into the thing, though? Zeromus is risen. But not yet at full strength. It will take time before the fiend is able to breach the veil. But what is another moment on this long journey I have endured? Maybe if you throw yourself into it, it would work. Kind of like Highness and Kirby Star Allies.
It remains as fresh as if it were yesterday. Oh, oh. friend, the memory of your past. Oh, and the pain. Oh. Okay then. I had it backwards. As I promised you then, I promise you now. They shall sing of Golbez, the hero who shattered the wheel and brought salvation oh, did he, did to he the world. Oh, did he take his name? Oh, did he take his name? Oh. Oh, that's kind of sweet, actually. Too bad you're like super evil and stuff. That's a cool shot. That's also a cool shot. Don't mind me. <laughs> you win or you die. God damn it. Okay, time for 6.5. Bashan is glad for your arrival. Hello, Bashan. Ah, oh, Mia, I was about to call for you. There have been developments concerning the Void Gate that I would discuss with everyone. Coincidentally, I'm told Ishtola will be returning shortly. I dare to hope she has made some progress in devising a way to harness the fastest light. Come, let us await those, the others in my chambers. It'll be impressive if she's done if she done it in the span of, like, five minutes. That'd be very impressive. Hehe. <laughs> My apologies for the delay. Think nothing of it. Loot box. How are we gonna ultra rare? Me too. It does kind of look like a loot box. I pray thou art come with t glad tidings. With t with findings well worth many sleepless nights, I am pleased to report. Sparkle on. It's it's Wednesday. <laughs> you may leave it here. Thank you. Summer vacation you stole. It. Someone vacation you stole. It. Eager though I am to hear the details, I must first share tidings of my own. Grave ones. Uh uh. Riondre hath sent word from the void gate in Mario Lamentorum. The situation is precarious. Minor spelling mistake. I win. They continue to rely upon the brands to contain the forces which would otherwise flow freely into the source. Yet though these me measures were sufficient to imprison a fragment of Zodiac for eons against our enemy's determined onslaught, they are degrading at an unsettling rate. Uh-uh. The Lobrets are sparing on no effort to sustain the brands. But it's only a matter of time ere they fail. And unless we act soon, there will be no stopping Golbez from realizing has it his ambition. That Zeromus should so test the seal that even when not at full strength, is every bit as terrible as we feared. Aye, we must needs vanquish it, to which end we require a means to pierce its dark shroud. So did you find it? A way to bring resplendent light to bear against our foe? As a matter of fact, I have. Let's go! The theory was simple. The game theory was simple. We harness light from the first and channel it to the thirteenth. Such a feat would require us to manipulate vast amounts of energy, to say the least. Yeah. And you can't go to the first. 
unless you've figured out a way to go to the first. Ishtola. Balls. They look very elegant in nature. And so I consulted Sid and his fellows, who rose to the challenge and produced bespoke devices. Ether transmitter. These marvelous contraptions can be placed at locations of our choosing to facilitate the flow of ether. In other words, we can use them to create our ethereal currents. Oh! But such a thing should be possible. We shall first head direct first direct ether from Nabatha Rang, where the flood of light was halted into the crystal tower. We all know from personal experience the wonders of which it is capable, wonders which suit our needs perfectly. I should mention that the structure in the Azim step which the Alagans built to redirect ether was also a source of inspiration. Once we've infused the crystal tower with sufficient ether, we shall send it into the rift. And the ether transmitter shall guide that energy unto the 13th, like so. I guess that would work. Oh, that's cool, actually. Wait, wait, that's awesome, actually. We just made ether pylons. That's so cool. In this way, we shall have a lance of light with which to pierce the shield of darkness. That's so cool. Or so I hope. No tests we performed were close to the scale of what we ultimately seek to achieve. I cannot guarantee success. With such great minds on our side, how could we possibly fail? Indeed, we've harnessed the wisdom of the past, present, and future to further this cause. I too have faith that it will be enough in the end. Science and theory aside, we need place one. We need to place one or more of these transmitters in the first. I think. Hello, a task we must entrust to you, Mia. Rest assured, I will provide you with what support I can. Sounds good. Let me add him. I wish to go as well. Can you? This world that you brought back from the brink, I would see it with my own eyes. But how dost thou intend to make the journey? In a spirit vessel. That's how you and yours managed it, yes? Void sense summoning you also sees the souls separated from the flesh. This separation I can do at will. The principles are similar enough. If you want to first my travelling with the company, I should be glad to lend Zero my vessel. Sure. And it's settled. I shall finish preparing the transmitters and then help Zero transfer her soul. Pray see to your own preparations, then let us reconvene at Megaduda. Hello, the boys podcast. Welcome in, hello. Good 
God, the amount of thought that goes into the stuff in this game is insane. It's like, of course I can just make ether pylons that can go th from the first to the source to the thirteenth. Or hell, even straight from the source from the first to the thirteenth. Ishtola will be along after she's sent seen to zero, so let us await her here. Okay. I don't recommend this man. Oh, hey Ben! This game is little magic, anything is possible. Fair point. Apologies for the wait. Everything went smoothly. Zero's soul is now safely within the spirit vessel. I shall have the alchemist attend her body until she returns. The vessel I place in your care, along with the transmitters and a set of garments for Zero. I've also included instructions on how to operate the crystal tower, courtesy of Grahatia. I miss Graha, let me see him! <laughs> let me see him! I haven't seen him in forever! While you're away, I'll join Orionje and the Lobrits on the moon. They'll need help to, should the brands fail. A fine idea. I, for my part, I shall continue to coordinate our efforts while I recover from my wounds. Given the task at hand, I suggest you speak with Reem. With her power of a light, she's bound to be helpful in our efforts. But ere you do that or aught else, seek out Becklug. As the first foremost authority on Soulcraft, they should be able to grant Zero a corporeal form. As I recall, the old Numo was rather fond of the Cabinet of Curiosity, so that should be your first stop. Ishtola? That's all from me. Go forth, warrior of darkness. And spread your triumphant return. Make your triumphant return to the first. It's been a while since I've heard that title. Lots happened since then. <laughs> Back to the Crystarium we go. Oh, how I've missed the Crystarium. I've missed it so, I've missed it so much. <laughs> Still one of my favorite main areas. It's so cool. And not just because of the music. And yes, I will be walking around the Crystarium. I want to spend as long here as possible. <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Hi, Backlog. Been a while. Is that Yumiya? What brings you back across the reef? Uh, a lot of stuff. Honestly, first you ask me to extract a soul from a spirit vessel, then you tell me you have designs to channel light from another to another reflection. Wicked white, Mia, is nothing ever simple with you. Ah, I suppose some people can't help but find themselves at the center of world changing events. Very well, if your home is in peril, I shall do all in my power to aid you. My they them white. Beck luck, my beloved. While I tend to your companion, you should go and speak with Reem. <clears throat> By all accounts, she practically lives at the Hortorium these days. I will look for you there once I've finished. Okay. Whee! Rain. It's been forever since I've seen you. Because you're just not in the overworld after Eden. <laughs> I'm doing good. Excited and also scared to finish the post game, to finish the main story of this game after uh, eight months. <laughs> Restoring the elements to the empty may allow life to flourish there once more. Yeah. Hmm. 
Reen, we've kind of already done that. <laughs> Reen, we've kind of already done that. <laughs> oh. You're talking about, like, actual life. Not just doing the stuff we did in the Eden raids. Okay. Not just any plants, though. But those that won't be a burden on a weakened land. Yeah. Aww. Such as... Yeah. <laughs> I'm just standing here. So hello. You've become quite a scholar. Hello! What a welcome surprise! I mean, how's Gaia? Seems you caught me rambling to myself. How embarrassing. Oh, it's fine. I don't know the time. I've been studying botany, you see. Hoping that the knowledge would help our work in the empty. Hell yeah. But never mind that for now. What brings you to the Crystarium? It was my understanding that the final days were behind us. They are. Uh, but there's another world threatening threat. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 a lot's happened in this patch. In these patches, actually. <laughs> you wish to combat this otherworldly threat with the power of light? Yep, exactly that. Please, let me help. Gladly. Though I've lost my connection to Hydaelyn, <laughs> I wonder why. Manipulate light to a degree. I wonder why you lost your connection to Hydaelyn. <laughs> I could save others with that power. Then I have to try. I wonder why that happened. Surely nothing I did would have would have severed your connection to Hydaelyn. Least of all, killing Hydaelyn. <laughs> Is done. Zero is now with us in the flesh. Hi, Zero. For the spirit vessel, I shall hold on to for operating the tower. Fair point. Here you go. This will help me to make sense of the controls, will it? Mm hmm. From Graha to hear himself. There's a levity in his words that wasn't there before. Oh. It heartens me to know he is well. He's very well. He's doing great. He did kind of, you know, die a little bit. But he's doing great. He, he did sacrifice himself to the world. Without knowing that he'd be able to come back. But, you know, he's okay now. You'll think nothing of it. That said, it is customary that my kind receive fitting payment for services <laughs> rendered. Not unlike we void sent then. In that case, you may devour some of my ether. <laughs> Are you mad? I'll do no such thing. The very suggestion is absurd. <laughs> uh. <laughs> now, Look at that face. Let's calm down. We all have our preferences, and I'm sure no offense was intended. Hesitation. Preferences. <laughs> I shall attend to the tower now. Okay, back The rest, I leave to you. Have fun. <laughs> Zero, was it? <clears throat> My name is Reen. It's a pleasure to meet you. Aww. This world isn't what I expected. Yeah. While light is indeed strong here. 
it's not pervasive or overwhelming. No, nope. that's because we it stopped it. Much as it does in the source. That's because we stopped the light. Considering I am the warrior, we of, have darkness, the warrior of darkness to thank for that. If you're interested, I would be glad to show you around. Oh. 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 Shadowbringers theme jump scare. I already have tears in my eyes. <laughs> I'm already crying. <laughs> oh, the crystal tower. The place where Elidibus was until recently. Just an ordinary sky. Ordinary and beautiful. If it transitions to think into... that after so much loss. They could reclaim yep. this. Okay. There's no stand tall, my friend, because if there was, I would be crying buckets. <laughs> if I heard the word stand tall, my friend, oh, uh, I would be a mess. More of a mess than I already am. 6.5 has begun. I've heard something of your deeds here, of how the Warrior of Darkness fought on, despite light ravaging her very being. Had I the self-same strength of spirit, perhaps, perhaps I could have done more for my world. No, it isn't over yet. Thirteenth isn't beyond saving. That's why we're here. So, where to? Just lead the way. Healing to the masses. Let's head for the Bartha Ring. Since Zero can't teleport to the Etherite there, we should probably travel by Amaro. <coughs> Lena! Oh, there you are. Thank goodness I'm not late. Lena! I take it back luck told you why she's here. More or less. Hi. Greetings and welcome. I am Lena, captain of the guard here at the Crystarium. Zero, is there something you require? Oh, do you want to know how Graha's doing? When I learned of your plan to gather light at the Crystal Tower, I felt compelled to warn you of the potential repercussions. I know well that you would never use the tower for ill, nor without due caution. Even so. Yeah, actually, that's fair. I believe I understand. Ever since the flood, the light has been a source of pain and misery. Some fear it still, no doubt. Which is to say that some would be uncomfortable at the sight of it will that we intend. That is your concern, is it not? Precisely. It was light that nearly consumed our world. He used the crystal tower to harness this dis destructive force. Risks turning the tower into an object of fear. You may convince the Crystarium of the necessity of your cause, but it will not be so easy to win over those outside our walls. I worry this will undermine the fragile trust that we have only begun to build with some communities. They may misunderstand your intentions. Tell me who they are and what, their, what misunderstandings they may have. I shall allay their concerns.
Me and I will go with her. People know us. Our presence will put them at ease. Aww. Thank you. I realize this will delay the execution of your plans, but I see no other way. Lena. I love Lena so much. <laughs> as for where to begin, I dare say Yulma would be as good a place as any. <gasps> We're gonna see the Jais. Though ours is an amicable relationship now, we were at odds for long years. Yulma was once ruled by a tyrant who wielded the power of light. Though he promised salvation, in truth he made slaves of his subjects and sought to destroy any who defied him. He's gone now, thankfully, and a good man named Chai Naz was elected mayor. Relations between our cities have improved much since then. Even so, there's a lingering rivalry between us. If the Crystarium were to harness light without warning, some Yulmorans might suspect we have ulterior motives. <clears throat> Thus, it would be prudent to give them prior notice. If you explain that you have, seek to save the Warrior of Darkness's home, though, I should hope that they would give you that blessing. Hopefully, China's is a decent guy. Once again, yours is a name that commands re respect and trust in the domain of your former enemies, as it does in Gollumor. That is true. Where else should we visit? After Yulma, I would su suggest a Raktiga Greatwood. <gasps> we get to hear Lahi! We get to Lahi! One final Lahi before the end of the MSQ. There you will find the Knights Blessed, a small collective which worships darkness, as well as <laughs> the Vs, guardians and secrets of ancient Ronka. Do you know Dahi? I will play Dahi. <laughs> the Vs are insular and will likely not object unless the light encroaches upon their territory. The Knights Blessed, on the other hand, would greatly benefit from your assurances that your actions will not adversely affect their lives. People who worship darkness. Fitting for a world all but consumed by light. Very well. We will treat with the people of Yulmor and the Knights Blessed. <clears throat> Here, take these whiskerweeds. I'll let you know when all is in readiness with the tower. Right then, I should tend to my own un my own tasks. Explaining the situation to the people of the Crystarium and arranging for your transmitters to be placed here in an and in the Bartharang. We're truly grateful. Thank you, Lena. Aww. I love all these characters so much. Can you tell I love Shadowbringers? <laughs> Come, let's head to Yulmore. Hopefully Chinos will know how best to present our plan to everyone. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Off to Yulmore we go. gods if it isn't Mia. So what do we owe the pleasure? Not another world ending threat, surely not. Surely not? Yeah, about that! Um... <laughs> We're planning a great undertaking that may be of concern to the people of Yulmo. Ah, you wish to consult with me before making your plans known to the populace? Very well. What exactly did you have in mind? 
Uh, using the Crystal Tower to channel light to the 13th so we can stop the world, so we can stop the souls from d dying again. No biggie. Gathering light with the Crystal Tower, you say? I'd be lying if it doesn't, if I said that doesn't bring back unpleasant memories. I believe I speak for most you Mormons. We can hardly blame you. We have no reason to question your motives, of course. Neither yours nor those of the Crystarian leadership. The world engulfed in darkness, its corrupted inhabitants attempting to invade your own, is rather a lot to process. But the desire to save, one, save one's home is something anyone can understand. I'm touched that you show such concern for our feelings despite the gravity of your plight. Very well, you have my support. Julia? As if there is any doubt. Right, let's gather the people at, gather the people at once. An explanation from you ought to ensure everyone understands. Not so fast, dearest. If I were to reveal everything at this juncture, many would be deeply unsettled, regardless of any assurances I offer. No, we need first to set the stage. Spread word of the warrior darkness's plight, that she is on a mission to save her world, as she once did ours. Once the tale is common knowledge, I shall call an assembly and explain the need to harness the power of light to a populace far more amenable to the idea. To that end, I might I trouble you to speak with our citizens about your predicament. It would be more effective to hear the details from the hero herself. More likely to inspire solidarity for your cause. To appeal to the desire to aid the warrior of darkness to present light in a more positive light. Well played, Master Chan. Gladly. If it's best that you do the talking, then we'll come with you. Fine by me. I'm content to observe. I really hope nothing happens to Zero. I want to... Um... <laughs> Once you've finished your rounds, I ask you to report to me. I should like to know that how the people react. Because she's not in the trailer for Dawn Trail. And that makes me scared. <laughs> Lead the way, Mia. We'll be right behind you. I haven't seen the 615 trailer, huh? Nuh-uh. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Ominous. <laughs> From that conversation alone, I can see how much the people here trust you. Thanks to Ulysses and Thancred, I've grown better at recognizing you. What? You've met Thancred too? I mean, uh, right, of course you have. I don't know why I said that. Maureen misses her dad! She misses her dad! <laughs> <laughs> right, let's find some citizens to speak with. I suggest we start here in the canopy before heading down to the understory and then the derelicts. Is your arena now accompanying you? Cool. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for Reen. <laughs> also, I want to see Gaia. I want. I want to. I want to see the lesbian. Oh, of course, this is the first place we visit. <laughs> of course, this is the first fucking place we visit. Thankfully, once told me that people come to these places to save us some memories and drown the others. I imagine the beehive was built primarily to help you morons forget about sin eaters, even if only for a time. But now they can simply enjoy themselves. I can see the appeal. But don't worry, no, I'm still a bit too young for it. Yeah, a little bit. A tavern. And an extravagant one at that. Are those dancers engaged with the poles in such strange ways? Are they pantomiming a battle? Soldiers thrusting their spear into the ground and using it to launch themselves in an enemy, perhaps. Sure, Zero. Given this world's violent history, it makes sense that displays of martial prowess would become popular entertainment. Uh huh. Yeah. That's absolutely what's happening. I used to live for the moment, not caring what might happen on the morrow. Now that we have peace, I find myself thinking about the future. Feeling anxious. 
What? Your home is threatened with destruction? Wicked White, why are you wasting time in a drinking hole? Oh. Uh, but as I say it, I feel the sting of hypocrisy. God, I need to take control of my life. I need to face my troubles head on. The same goes for you. So that was... Well now, the warrior darkness and the oracle of light both. How may I be a service? Your enemies plot to invade your world. Having had tales of sin eaters ravaging countless villages, your, fight, your plight feels all too familiar. And one may, I urge you to remain strong. You overcame the light warriors. So you can overcome any adversity. And for what it's worth, I'm sure everyone here will be willing to help in whatever way we can. Because you're gonna need to. <laughs> that thing that they're cleaning up the debris. For a moment, I thought it might be a void set. In case you didn't know, it's not uncommon for our kind to use statues as vessels. But I see now it's more akin to the mechanical soldiers used by the Gullians. They come in all same shapes and sizes, don't they? When Vothri tried to keep us out of the city, many free citizens died in the chaos. Some had no kin to inherit their wealth, so Yulmor decided to use it to help fund the reconstruction of the derelicts. It's part of a greater effort to improve the living conditions down here. Which is important, since there's simply not enough room for everyone in the city proper. Hello. You're the warrior of darkness. I never had dreamed I'd have the honor. But why are you in your mo, if I may ask? Your home is in danger, and you've seen come seeking help. If there's anything we can do for you, you need only ask. Things we can things can be better here, of course. We've got a long road ahead of us, but we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and yours. We'll never forget it. God, I love the first so much. <laughs> I love it so much. So the people are one of one mind in their desire to help. Good, good. Why, just earlier I overheard a conversation about how the warrior of darkness is seeking to save their home. Your tale is spreading quickly. When the plan has unfolded precisely as when the plan has unfolded, unfolded precisely as you envisioned. All that remains, then, is to assemble the citizens and play, explain me as need to gather light. For better or worse, I'm mayor of this city. I'll do my best to win them over. Thank you. Wait, aren't you? Yes, you're her. The young lady who saved me from Vothre. I've eaten, I'd eaten enough meal to not to fall, to fall under his control, but you cured me. I wouldn't be alive today if not for you. Oh, I remember you too. I'm glad to see you're doing well. 
I only learned later that it was the Oracle of Light herself who saved me. It saved all of us. I didn't know if I'd ever get the chance to express my gratitude. I'm sure it was nothing for someone with your power, but thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Aww. What is this meal? Ugh, long story. I'm loving it, Zess. We've reached 6.5, so we're nearly we're nearly fully caught up. Food made from the light tainted flesh of sin eaters, you say? I see. The more they ate, the more the light's corruption spread. Right. And because of that, they became susceptible to the Vothri's commands, as he could make the sin eaters do his bidding. Thankfully, I was able to suppress light's influence and free everyone from his control. There seems to be no lingering effects. You say that as if it was some small feat. I've seen countless souls corrupted by darkness. Someone with the power to heal them would be regarded as a great figure, and never know peace. My gift has been a burden. Many have suffered for it, died for it. There were times when I wished I didn't have it, when I wanted to run away from everyone and everything. But I had friends to encourage and guide me. To help me learn not just to embrace my gift, but to take charge of my life, to change my fate. And so you did just that. People of this world are resilient indeed. Oh, Zero. And a half void scent like me managed to escape the flood of darkness. For all these years, I never stopped to wonder why. I wonder if I had a greater part to play. Well, perhaps it's time I took charge and considered what I might be able to do for others. The first, the answer is here, in the first, and I will find it. Hell yeah. There's a boss in fire and flame. If we have no further business here, let's move on. Where to next? Slitherbough, the home of the Knights Blessed and the Raktika Greatwood, will explain the situation to their leader, Runa. It's time for Lahi. It's time for Lahi. The time for Lahi is upon us. Wait, shit, hold on. It's because I'm actually in Slitherbough. Fuck. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> we need to get out of life. Uh, we need to get out of Slitherbell first. I need to hear it. Hi, Toggle. God damn it, it's night time! It's night time, there's no lahi! God damn it, no! <laughs> Why did it have to be night time? God damn it! <laughs> God damn it! Can't believe we're being deprived of lahi. How depressing. No lahi. Mia, you're a sight for sore eyes, my friend. Will you be staying long in Slitherbough? My disappointment is immeasurable, my day is ruined. Though having said that, I suspect this isn't just a social call. We kind of need to harness the power of light at the Crystal Tower. Ah, so it is more of a more more of a formal visit. That's fine. Why don't we get right to it then? Runa, you lovable fluffle. <laughs> you won't take Ishtola from me, Runa. She's mine. She's my wife. What? Your world, Master Matoya's world, is in grave danger. Oh. 
Oh yeah, I knew it. <laughs> Ishtola. She took another name in accordance with custom when she lived in among the night's blessed. They believe light is paints everything that it touches, even their true names. Out of respect, don't speak as here. You want zero, yes? The one come from a world consumed by darkness. I struggle to conceive of such a place. A pitch black pall but shrouds the sky, which neither light nor with neither the light of the sun nor the stars may can pierce. It is the opposite of what you want of what you once knew here in Novra. That being the case, I'm sure you can relate to our situation. All too well. You have my, you have my deepest sympathies. And in order to beat back the darkness in your world, you would harness light from ours. It's a simple yet brilliant idea. Only Master Batoya could have conceived of such. That Novrat is still in her thoughts. That we are still. So, you're not opposed to our plan. We Knights Blessed may place our faith in the dark, but we have never sought to force our beliefs upon others. If your deliverance lies in light, then by all means avail yourselves of it. Aww. Runa. I am surprised. From what I was told of your people, I was certain you would disapprove of our methods. Do not mistake our reverence for darkness as a desire for it to be, ascent to be, for it to be ascendant. Rather, in darkness there is a peace that we seek to make our own through prayer and self-reflection. And while light may have wrought suffering in our world, anything in excess can be harmful, even darkness as you and yours all know all too well. It is the wielder who is righteous or evil, not the weapon. If you would wield light for a noble cause, then who are we to deny you? An easy thing for me to say now that I now that night has been restored to our world, perhaps. Nevertheless, I wish you the best in your fight, Zero. May light shine your way in the darkness. Now then, to mark this joyous occasion, I must offer you a proper welcome to Slitherbell. You might find this interesting, Zero, if you say so. Right, let us begin with a customary greeting. Mia, yeah, I trust you remember how to announce yourself as a friend of the Blasted? Oh, fuck, do I? <laughs> oh, fuck, do I? Uh-oh. Oh, right, Alin Tuta. Right. It's been forever. Friends old and new, I bid you welcome to Slitherbell. Arlene Tuta, what does it mean? In the language of Ronka, it is one of several ways one might say good evening. This greeting allows us to quickly discern a friend from foe. A simple expression, but in a world bereft of night, the words held deep meaning. They were a reminder of the world as it was, when the sun and moon when the stars yet danced across the sky, and we wished one another well as the day as the day gave way to night. A communal tradition, so the words served to bind us. Indeed, we are no longer strangers, you and I. Next we shall have you cleansed of light's impurities. Present yourself to Davith in yonder room. He'll be glad to assist you. Hmm. Will that even work? Uh huh. Cause she's a void scent. Will will that even work? There you are. Your friend has just been cleansed. How do you feel? Wet, but otherwise no different. <laughs> 
I would have been surprised if you'd said otherwise. Even so, it is customary to cleanse ourselves of light with water blessed by our priests. But you have darkness again, do you not? Why continue the custom? Why, for the same reason that it was conceived, pray for the safety of friends and visitors alike, as we pray for yours this eve. Safe travels, friend. May blessed shadow keep you. Right, if that's all, let's return to Runar and see if there's any other customs I must observe. <laughs> Come on, Mia. Hi, Zero. I've undertaken the ritual. And while I can't explain it, I feel more confident than I did before. Just a touch. I'm glad to hear it. With the Warrior of Darkness at your side, I've no doubt that you'll save your two worlds. If we can defeat Zeromus and I, the source will be safe. But nothing would change for my own world. There would just be one less void sent to struggle over scraps with the rest. Is that so? Forgive me, I spoke out of turn. It's fine, I was under no illusion. I wish it were different, of course. Mia, can you hear me? I have you met with the people of Yulmer and Rektika. That we have. Excellent. Then we may proceed to the next phase of the plan without worry. Beckluck has informed me that the tower is ready, so make for Nabatha Rang at your leisure. I've arranged for you to rendezvous with Cassard en route as well. Not only can he take you to the site of the Flood, but he will also know where best to place the transmitters, given his familiarity with the route between the Crystarium and Armorang. He will be in Twine on business shortly, so I've asked him to wait for you there. It's all coming together. To Twine, then. Not yet. I need to hear Lahi. Not yet. I'm waiting for it to become daytime in game. I need to hear Lahi. I I, I need to. <laughs> I've had Lahi withdrawals for too long. And now we wait. <laughs> I mean, Ragtika Greatwood Night Theme is also really good, but it does it, it can't beat Lahi. I'm going to sit and wait. <laughs> Time to wait for eight in-game hours. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, Lahi is also good. <laughs> Gives you time to sort out my infantry, actually. I've been meaning to. You go there. Same with you. Oh, I'm sitting down. There we go.
to be worth it, I promise. <laughs> I should really get rid of some of the stuff in my inventory because I do not have a need for a lot of it. I have to wait around 21 minutes for daytime. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll come back when it's daytime. <laughs> <laughs> no timing couldn't be better, Mia. I just finished up my business here. Lena has told me all. It would be a pleasure to take you to the Martha Ring. We spent two hours in the key ones. Fair point. We did do that. <laughs> as soon as the other helpers arrive, that is. They're supposed to be along any moment now. Well, we might as well make progress while we're waiting. Mia, it really is you. Is it Trolley Boy? No, it's not Trolley Boy. We understand you are faced with quite a predicament. And when an esteemed customer is in need, the merchants of Motsuka are eager to provide. The captain bade us assist you, miss, to ensure that light is delivered to the Crystarium. Members of our guard will place transmitters in Lakeland, and the good people of Mortsuk will do likewise in the Hills of Amber. You need but focus on your own task in the Bartharang. Yet more people clamoring to help you. It would almost be more surprising if they hadn't shown up. If everyone's ready, then let's get to work. Wait! Hey! It is Trolley Boy. You're heading to the Bartharang and didn't ask the thing to call on us? <clears throat> While most of our talents are still in the sorry state, we spend no effort in maintaining the trolley. We've even upgraded it. As a matter of fact, it's even faster than, faster than ever could del deliver you to the Bartharang in no time at all. After everything you've done for us, we can't just sit idly by. Thankwood would never let us hear the end of it. True. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you all so much. <laughs> I love the trolley guys. Hello. Hello Zero. I dare say we have ample help. Come, let's go and acquire our light. Bam bam, bam bam. It's so foggy, you can't even see it. <laughs> okay, we're just here. Okay. That it is. I don't remember much of the time when darkness consumed the 13th. Just the cold and the emptiness. Yeah. Zero? Are you alright? Aww. Green. I... I'm fine. You're the one who stopped this. Oh, no, no. That was the first Oracle of Light, Minfilia. Minfilia. She's since left us, but I inherited her power and legacy. Yeah. I see. <laughs> Let's get started then, shall we? Yeah. Hmm. 
so cool. It's too long in the lane. Here we go. Let's hope this works. The other transmitters are set. Whenever you're ready. Hell yeah. Here we go. Last one. Let's go. Whoa. Whoa. This is so cool. Now we hope that it works. Such radiant light. Four zero. It's almost too much for one steeped in darkness. It like probably me. is. I wouldn't recommend touching it. Zero. Your reflection. Whatever may have happened in the past, you're still here, Zero. Alive. Yeah. Zero. What you didn't do yesterday, you might still do today. Don't touch it, Zero. We don't know what it will do to you. If this power... Zero. To wield. Zero. No. We don't know what it will do to you. Zero. She's coloring her skin. Zero. She's coloring her skin though. She's not literally paper white. She's taken light into herself. Her body struggles to contain it. She needs help. Uh, surely you can help, Rain. Okay. Whatever possessed you to do that? <laughs> what the fuck are you thinking? I had to know if I could command the light. Aww. If I could change my fate. Once, I would never have dared to dream it. Aww. But your friendship and your trust has helped me to see new possibilities Aww. in myself and everything else. Aww. Perhaps that's why, when I beheld this world once damned yet saved, I saw the potential for mine to be saved as well. Aww. To become a world where light and darkness are in harmony and life flourishes. A world where we're not consumed by insatiable hunger, but filled with hope for what we might create together. If I had the strength, perhaps I could make such a dream reality. Perhaps I could awaken us from this endless nightmare. Zero. That's what possessed me. Oh. I get it though. A hair. A bloodborne esque hair. If that's your heartfelt desire, then you mustn't be afraid to share it. Yeah. There was a time when I lacked the courage. To voice my desires was to burden those I love. Or so I convinced myself. That's a mood. That's a mood. <laughs> but then I met those who believed in me. They helped me to believe in myself. And find the strength to live. Oh yeah. 
And so long as I'm alive, I know that I'll be fine. No matter how dire things seem, no matter where I am. Mm -hmm. To be able to think that brought me peace. And it's a blessing I owe entirely to my friends. Those who believe in us. I will remember your words. I know all too well that there's a limit to what we can achieve alone. As a friend, I'd like to help you fulfill your dream. If you wish to take in more light, I can keep the power in check and help your body accept it. Green, you're so sweet. If anyone can do it, it'll be Rain. So it would seem. Right then. I'm counting on you. Here we go. Come on, Rain. Come on, Zero. Here I go. Come on, Reen and Zero. We got this. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> Did they do it? I can feel it. The light's warmth swelling within me. I believe it worked. Hell yeah! With this power, I will return to the void and fight for the world that once was and for those I hold dear. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, Zero. Still night time, okay. Uh, I guess we're not getting Lahi today. We've done our part, and I trust that others will see the light well the others will see the light to our destination. This time we return to the source. I shall seek out Beklug and have them return my soul to the spirit vessel. Man I was so excited to hear Lahi. Seven minutes for daytime. We can wait seven minutes. Well, I suppose this is it. I don't know if you had any other preparations to attend to or people to visit, but I'll go on ahead to the opera. Okay. I need to sort out my, my armory. I'm just going to get rid of a bunch of stuff I don't need anymore. But I can't exactly sell it. enough for now. You don't need all of that. Yeah, literally. There's so much that I do not need. Like, I don't really need level 60 stuff anymore. I mean, I guess I could put it in the armor or glamour dresser. Yeah, that might be a better shout. You level other jobs, though. Fair point. You, you raise a fair point. 
Well, if I'm leveling other jobs, I can just get the stuff from the dungeons I'm doing. <clears throat> Is there an armor in here? I can't remember. I mean, I'll find out. Is there? Yes. Get you in there. Get you in there. Get you in there. Get you in there. Thank God there's like an 800 item limit in the Glamour Dresser. All things is good enough. We'll do this. Until it it's daytime. So we can hear Lahi and then go back to the and then go back to the soul. I'm out of glamour prisons. Fuck. I forgot that it takes that. <laughs> hey, it's fine. To the market board. <laughs> to the market board. <laughs> Cause I want to hear Lahi before I go. It's been a while since I've been to the Crystarium. Market board. Fucking hell. Yeah, I'll just get 99. I'll just get a bunch of them. There we go. Oh. Done. <laughs> Back we go. <laughs> Back to the pendants. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. I should have also repaired the stuff I didn't repair. Too late now. Too late now. There we go. Just get rid of much as, as much as possible.
Okay. Bracelets. This stuff. If it's safe for a gear set, I can just get another one. <laughs> or I can just take it out if I need to. Or just get something else. There we go. My armory chest should be significantly less full now. Perfect. That's much better. I should do the same with actual armor pieces. <laughs> Classes I've never even used. Actually, no, that's a lie. I have like a tiny bit because I've like I, I've unlocked Paladin, but that's about it. Uh, this I don't need anymore. Get rid of all this stuff. Already like halfway through all the prisons I bought. <laughs> oh, thank God, there's so much stuff. You can fit so much stuff in the in the armor and the glamour dresser. Cause holy shit. A true endgame fashion, exactly. Also known as just getting rid of a bunch of stuff. 
that <laughs> I don't use anymore and just so I can save space in my armory chest. Nearly there. Nearly there. The arms. So, now we do the bottom half of the stuff. So probably use up the rest of my glamour, glamour prisms, if not all of them, if not most of them, even. But that is perfectly okay with me. I need space. <laughs> Plus this way, I can make outfits of any kind for any class. So, you know, <clears throat> it works. And this is after we got our Glamour Dresser doubled in size. Oh my god. So I would have filled up the old Glamour Dresser. <laughs> Yikes. Because like, a lot of this stuff I just can't sell. Because it's like unique stuff, so I can't sell it. You can donate to a grand company if your rank is high enough. Though, fair point. That is a fair point. There we go. An empty armory chest, pretty much. Holy shit. Crazy. Insane. Insane. Anyway, it's daytime now. So now. We can go to the Ragtiga Greatwood and hear Lahi at least once. Right, it doesn't play in Fanel. So I have to go to fucking Slitherbell to do it. It's fine. I'll just go to slow the path first. Since that's where we intended to go anyway. <laughs> I don't care if it's raining, I need Lahi. Give it to me. Thank you! Finally! <laughs> it's only taken what, like an hour? It's only taken like an hour? We finally got Lahi. <laughs> it took us long enough. Ah. Uh... <laughs> the moment Lena said we had to go to the Ragtika Great World, I was like, oh, I have to hear Lahi. It took an hour, but we did it. <laughs> Game complete. I no need to put no no longer need to play anything else ever again. Okay. Back to the Crystarian. <laughs> We've heard Lahi. It's not the same without the automaton. You're so right for that. You're so right for that. Also, hello, Boo. 
it, it just doesn't sound right without <laughs> without the harmonized automatons and Sokken's incredible singing. <laughs> it doesn't sound the same. The tower stands ready to send light into the rift, and Zero's soul is secure in her vessel once more. Okie dokie. Our helpers across the realm have also sent word that the transmitters are in place. Once the others have been set on the moon of Zero's world, we should have the foundation of our ethereal current. To make matters easier, the transmitters broadcast a powerful signal that can be, signal that can be detected by the tower even across the rift. Upon confirming that the Void Ones are active, we will send forth the light. The rest will be up to you. We'll all be praying for your success. Now go, make haste back to the source and save your worlds. Okay. Back to Ratatan. Back to Ratatan we go. And why is it raining everywhere? It's so depressing. Hi, Vashan. Mia, thank the heavens you've returned. The Lopredids reported that the brands are on the verge of falling. We have no time to spare. I shall restore Zero to her body at once. The brands are falling apart. Oh, God. Ah, oh, that's better. Do you still feel the light? I was worried about the soul transfer that the soul transference might affect the light I absorb, but it feels as potent as before. Let's go. The radiance of your soul is possibly blinding. I don't know how you would have managed without Reen's help. Wait, Mia, hi. While Reen helped me con to contain the light, it was you. All of you who gave me the courage to even make the attempt. Yes, I did. Your friendship, your acceptance. That includes people of the first, the Knights Blessed, in particular, showed me a great kindness. As did Runa, whose only regret seemed to be that you could not join us. A regret we share. Ours is a reunion long overdue. All is in readiness, and I assume uh, that I will assume my dragon form and fly to the moon. In the meantime, pray make your own way to the drowning brand. There we, we you shall reconvene before sallying forth once more into the void. Yeah, I finished the Eden questline. Why? Uh, the. <laughs> Gaia should have appeared! No! Did I miss a quest? Hold on. Did I miss a quest? No! Did I miss like the final final quest or something? Oh, I'm gonna be so mad if I did. Okay, let me sleep. Not main scenario. How would it be? Eden. Yeah, I done the last quest.
I definitely unlocked New Game Plus though. I've done it. Well, not New Game Plus, but I've done all of it. Guy is so lovely. I love. I love them so much. They are so gay. They're amazing and gay, and I love them. <laughs> I love them so much. Eden was amazing. I, I loved Eden so much. It was so good. And then they shared the coffee biscuits and such so again. I shipped them so hard. Me too. Was such a good quest line. I mean, all of them are really good quest lines, but there's something about Eden, man. <laughs> I gotta buy cookies and muffins and I go on next time. Fuck yeah. Not finding anything conclusive to make on Fupin. It's okay. He's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll find something. I'll find it later, probably. Anyway. I'm so glad I learned how to bake cookies. Hell yeah. Off we go. game <laughs> the water's up there hello living way Time to take the fight to the enemy, is it? <clears throat> the darkness has been utterly relentless. Now I get the seal like uh, like I might an iron carrot. Strike fast and hard, because you won't get another chance. <clears throat> As a precaution, we've further enhanced the combat supporters. You don't need to worry about us while you're away. I shall maintain my vigil over the brands. Pray see that thou art ready to depart as soon as a reach for any others have assembled. May the light shine our way to shine the way to victory. Deliver you all safely home. Here they are. <laughs> I love living way. I love all the operates. Hi Vitra. Hi Vitra. Hi Vitra. Back to the void we go. We fought Golbez last time. I guess now it's time to find Zeromus. <laughs> the 
dark pool all over the crater has grown thicker, but on the other side lies Golbez's domain, and we'll have altered the terrain to hinder us. I don't sense his presence, but I wager he's in the crater. It would be ideal if we if he were. I shall hurry and place the transmitters. Once they are activated, our cross rift ethereal current shall be established, and light will flow freely from the first. In theory at least. It will work. It must. Cutscene time. It feels like we're nearing the end of 6.5. Which makes me scared. All is in readiness. Without further ado, then. Light from beyond the rift. Shine forth and banish the darkness. Here we go. Please, please, please work. Excellent. <clears throat> the tower is replete with light from the bath arena. Good. That's good. Commencing transmission. You got this, backlog. Ah. Uh. I forgot that the ocular can do that. <laughs> and it goes. Across it goes to the 13th. Holy shit, it's working. I love Shadowbringers. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Oh my God, <laughs> da, 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 da. Holy shit. No time and Sally forth. Yeah. Alas, I fear the breach may be too narrow for you, Vritra. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> for a blessing, I prepared my <gasps> for My true form shall stand guard here. While we explore the castle. My gosh, Sean. Let's do this. It is faint, but I sense the presence of a dragon. No doubt my sister's essence trapped within Zeromus. Which means we might be able to save her. She was held captive before, but somewhere much deeper. Oh. The descent will not be so easy this time. I wouldn't think so. The chasm swarms with void scent. I mean, it makes sense. Summoned by Golbez, perhaps, or born of the residual darkness. Either way, we gotta take him out. However they came to be, we shall cut a path through them. Yeah. Is everyone ready? Oh, you bet I am. Zero? 
Here, huh? Zero. Two K zero. That light should shine in the void once more. Aww. No single one of us could have made it so. Only by joining hands were we able to kindle this light. Do you see, Golbez? We needn't damn others to save ourselves. Yeah. You knew this once, surely, when you tried to befriend me. Oh. When you were one of the precious few left willing to trust in another. Yeah. But that man is gone. And in his place, a mockery of his beliefs. as before though we walk different paths we seek the same destination yeah and yet <clears throat> there is something i must know oh. a truth that lies waiting in the dark We'll help you find it. Down in the dark. Arshan is a very picture of determination. Here we go. Rest assured, I will not let my emotions overwhelm me. When the moment comes, I will call to my sister, and I will rest her free from Zeromas. The crater awaits. Woe betide any who bar our path. Crazy that all of this happened over the span of like two years. <laughs> I would, uh, I would not have been able to. <laughs> I would not have been able to live with this coming every so every couple months. Get me in hell, yeah. Go. The format? Fucking item level, I swear to god. Uh. What doesn't have a high enough item level? Okay, to a market board. To a market board. with a higher with an item level higher than what I have apart from a bracelet okay let's go let's go to necklaces sure fucking hell maybe not oh hi <laughs> really about to spend 200,000. Yes, I am. Okay, there we go. <laughs> 
There we go, that sends me over the edge for 620. <laughs> it was 620 that I needed, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Back we go. <laughs> <laughs> this time for real zines. <laughs> this time for real. Use the item level my star. 640. Okay. So I take it 640 is like the highest eye level you can have on star. As of right now. How about one more piece of fire here? Okay. Back we go. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. It's chill. Oh. Okay, so we have uh necklace and I'll just get, I'll just get like a ring or something. Ring. A Iacodos. Significantly cheaper. You know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna get the rest of them. Because we have... Necklace. And we have the ring now. So I'm just gonna get the rest of them. Bracelet. Oh, that's expensive, actually. Maybe not. <laughs> I can get... Uh, I'll get all but the necklace. Because <laughs> that shit's expensive. There we go. Did I not buy the ring? I didn't buy the ring. God damn it. Right, because it was... I, I bought the ring. You can have two. I have one equipped. Do I? Oh shit, I do have two. I forget I have two hands sometimes. Listen. This is the first time I'm getting like proper like... Max level stuff. Okay, so now I just need the bracelet, but the bracelet's way too expensive. And just for good measure... Just for good measure... I'm gonna get my stuff repaired. For the hell of it. Just to be safe. Even though I know, like, it's still pretty high, but still, just in case. Cool. Now we go back. <laughs> Everything's at max durability. I have nearly everything at the highest eye level. It's fine. It's okay. It's chill. I have money. It's okay. 
I'm in tears. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, this time for real. I'm literally nearly at the max eye level. I only didn't get the bracelet because that shit would literally take all of my money. <laughs> Let's see, get some hundred players, add a hundred. Oh! I didn't know that. That's cool. It's chill though. Now we can go for realsies. I just need to do the same. <laughs> with my other two classes, with my other two jobs, and then we're sorted. <laughs> and then I'll be sorted for Dawn Trail. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Now we can go. Just the Lunar Submarine. Go. Or you can get you, but you need to be able to join those first. True. Very true. The Lunar Subterrane. I'm excited. Mike Wazowski? <laughs> That's just actually Mike Wazowski. Top five dungeons in the entire game? Jesus. I'm just gonna stand for a little bit. Music? Music? Hello? To me, oh, beacons of the dark. 
Oh shit. Doc, you show them that folly. Oh, triangle. Right. Do the opposite. That makes sense. Hi, Titan. Oh shit. Oh, I'm dead. Oops. I- what? Killed me? Was there a doom I didn't see? Huh. Thank you. I just got it memorial crystal. It's gonna be from the glove. What once was? Oh! The city is already overrun. First the villages and now the capital. Nothing is exempt from their avarice. Keep shooting. I just realized Behemoth is here. This one is dangerous.
Oh shit, I'm sorry. I pressed the wrong button, I'm so sorry. I pressed the wrong button, I misclicked. Yeah, I, maybe putting Icarus next to rescue is a bad idea. Uh, Hello, Saiba. We've no time to lose. Such distraction. No healing. I mean, I don't really need healing stuff. I think not. <sighs> oh shit. Oh boy. Hi. Hello. Whoa. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. <clears throat> oh fuck. Yikes. This can't be happening. Not to you. Well, it is. It's definitely happening. My oh. friend, my hero. Oh. I will stop you even should it cost me my life. Oh. This is a war. Whoa. Ba 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 ba. Memoriant Durante. Ba 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 bum. Ba da 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 da
Oh shit. I severely underestimated what that did. I need power. Light or dark, it matters not. Such savagery ill suits you. Fuck. I am so bad at this. I am so sorry. Went someone out. No. Come on. Come on. Even so, I'll not be bested. Not this day. Oh shit. I didn't make that in time. Fuck. How's it going going? It is... Uh, it's going high ethanol. I was not expecting to do that first try. I was not expecting to do that first try. Holy shit. 
We nearly didn't do it first try. <laughs> Absolutely. I... I did not deserve a playing commendation for that. <laughs> I feel like we're nearly at the end. We're nearly done with patch MSQ. Whoa. I forgot we were gold bears in his Why? Life. Why you and not me? Oh. You were the best of us. The paragon of virtue. I could never hope to be your equal. Oh. I am only the knight because of you oh. because you believed in me oh my god you can see his face they're hiding his face incredibly well Not wish face. to become a monster, preying upon those who fought to protect. But neither can I bring myself to kill you. Oh my god. Show me their face. Show me Golvez's face, I swear to god. Those are Reaper particle effects. Oh. Yikes. Show me their face! God damn it. There's the helmet. Die. This oh. I swear. Oh. Through me, your name shall live on yep. as there the is. hero who saves the world. Oh, oh guy. Oh, that sucks. There you go. I now see why that's one of your top five dungeons. That's really good. We've been released from the memory, to it seem. Yeah. Golbez was the one sealed in this memoria. Yeah. Then the one we've been fighting is... Durante. No more than an imposter 
playing at hero. Oh, hi. Hello. How are you? How's it going? Durante, I presume. A name long since lost to time. History shall remember only Golbez. Huh. Come what may, I shall deliver the world its salvation, and I will not suffer you to interfere. Hmm. His voice is really cool. You seek to free all souls from the purgatory of undeath. And to that end, you would invade another world. While I cannot condone your methods, I understand your motive full well. Yeah. For I'm driven by the same. I too wish to save our world. Mm. I too once thought I had to bear the burden by myself. That I had no choice but to walk my path alone. Mm -hmm. But I was wrong. We may yet strive together towards our shared yeah. goal. If you would reconsider your course. Yeah. We can help. We've done it before. We've done it to the first, we can do it to the thirteenth. <laughs> if you possessed power which transcended that of Zeromus, then perhaps I would. Fine. But you do not. No, you are but another Voitsant like me. And what is a candle before the sun? Jesus. His yes, name does not say Golbear. It is Golbear's. Great change in an instant. Even so. Great change is what we need. Aught less has no meaning. Uh, yeah, he's not sadly not called Golbear. Call that new evolution. Having glimpsed our past, you should understand as <laughs> any. You should see him without the. You should have seen him like ten minutes as ago, Colbert's, without the, I the, the helmet. Myself to ending the Contra Memoria. I fought the corrupted. Kinsaru was possibly be as bad as the incarnation of all the pinnacles in the universe. I mean, power. we'll find out. It does have some of Zodiac's power. Yet, try as I might. You did miss it. I was <laughs> to make any meaningful change. Twas then, when I was floundering in despair, that she appeared. The Asian Igeom. Claiming to know how to excise the source of our woes, she That's showed me to the, the moon. Asian, where the servant of light abided. Twas he and his ilk who had granted men unnatural powers, she said, and now prolonged the war. Huh. Believing her every word, I struck him down and caused darkness to engulf the world yikes. big yikes what then it was you who seems that way as emmett slope once told us the 13th was the asians first attempt at a rejoining before they fully understood the mechanisms at play yep they failed because they sought only to awaken the Sundered Zodiac without instigating a calamity in the source. Yep. 
the darkness they unleashed had nowhere else to go. Mm -hmm. The distance between the void. Having left a ruin of our world, the Asian fled. I was a fool to trust them. You were. To trust in others. In that part, not so much. Since that day, I have sought the means to undo my mistake. The world may be beyond saving, but I would at least restore the great flow. Mm -hmm. Huge skill if you want gold bears in the Asians the part, yeah. The was an extraordinary windfall, a veritable font of ether. That expedited my endeavors time and again. <sighs> but it wasn't enough to achieve my objective. Far from it. What do you mean? For an eternity, I had to bide my time. But the day finally came. What do you when mean? I acquired the power I sought. Where did you get it from? of the Asians god sealed within the moon suddenly dispersed <gasps> into ether the day i killed zodia with that ether oh Zerodos fuck could be conceived and driven by oh the my god longing for home it shall soon arise to destroy the barrier between i didn't even worlds. think about that Thus will the way open to the promised land and the death we have been too long denied. Jeez. Thus will I, Golbez, bring salvation to all. Hmm. But what if he didn't, though? So that is all you have left. Zero. Say what you will. You cannot stop Zeromus's awakening. Can we though? I mean, can't we though? I was just even though Zodiac was just a level 8. It, it was an 83 trial actually. Pretty sure it's level 83. We're going after him, aren't we? So I remember the quest being 83. Aye. That's why we came, after all. Hmm. And besides. Yeah. Hi. Hello. When someone believes in you, it makes you want to believe in them. Hmm. In others and yourself. Eulis was right about that. That he was. Hmm. Here we go. Let us press on. In the darkest recesses of the moon await Golbez and Zeromus. It's 84. Oh shit. I remember the quest being 83. They resolve to save their world and condemn yours. Here we go. Here we go. Dark inside of them. Okay. Hi, Galvez. I had hoped to bear witness to the moment our salvation is realized. But nothing conflicting with me, to you will bear. I will stop you here, no matter the cost. In game, you define the city. Okay. So I did think, right? Let's go, Astinian. Let's go, Astinian. 
That would be it. Let's go LB3, Black Mage. Let's go Vashan. Let's go Zero. Yeah, we did beat you before, so you know. And so I lured you to this place. Uh oh. Where the advantage is mine. Uh oh. Uh? How? 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 We killed them, how? I mean, he's still hot. But how? The Archfiends live? Yeah. We, we, we... Impossible. Scar Melione and Barbareccia were sealed in memoria. Yeah. While Canetso and Rubiconte died in the source. Yeah. Did he just make they them are again? They are not the true Archfiends, but shades born of their residual ether. Oh my god. If they are shades, then their strength will pale in comparison. True. Even should they fight as one, we may yet prevail. Come on, Zero. Zero? Is that where Ash Dye is? We'll tend to the Archfiends. Go and put an end to Zeromus. Okay. You'll do no such thing. Oh. Uh oh. It's Dola. Why they have to make this up? Oh. We'll join you as soon as we can. Okay, Vashan. Jesus, so it's so good. Awaken, and it shall devour any who come between it and its desire. Your companion is no exception. I've killed literal gods, I my guy. Be so sure. Yeah, Ishtala. Nice. That's one. And again, she has faced insurmountable odds. True, I have. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Damn, Mistinian. But no matter how hopeless things seemed, she's never given up the fight. Hell yeah. You bet I haven't. Off he goes again. You dragoon and your jumping. Bonk. Nice one, Farshan. So long as she has strength of will to forge on, then so too shall we. Forge ahead to the end, we pray. For we believe in her. And she believes in us. You bet I do. You're awesome. And together, our light can pierce blackest darkness. Hell yeah, Zero. Whoa. <laughs> oh, this is sick. Let's go, Zero. Let's go. Oh, we don't get to see? Ah. Uh. 
Damn, I'm surprised we survived the landing like that. This looks awfully familiar to where we fought Zodiac. Oh, she's speaking draconic. Oh. Oh, it's speaking draconic. Oh, oh. Ashtaya. Hi. Can't do it like this. Whoa. Is it just gonna look like Zodiac? If so, that's kind of cool. Oh no, that's not good. That's not Zodiac. Ooh. Kind of looks like Dark Gaia from Sonic Unleashed. Kind of. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Right? Come on, Azem. You haven't failed us yet. Come on, Azem. Release Ashdaya. Come on, Azem. Don't fail us now. Music? Hello? The Abyssal Fracture. I was about to say, this sounds like Penny's battle theme from, from Scarlet and Violet. Elite Four Trainer Zeromus. <laughs> We go. Uh, go. Hello. This literally does sound like a Pokemon song. I love this was sixty-five. I see now why you wanted me to get more stuff. Cause I was at 62. <laughs> I mean, it's really the only way we can get allies to our side. And plus it's not failed us yet. This literally does sound like a Pokemon song, holy shit. And you guys had to wait like forever for this soundtrack to come out? Oh my god! I wouldn't be able to live! Be able to live. I need this song. I need this song on Spotify immediately, and it's still not on there yet. You two players are doing God's work. I, I can imagine. Cause holy shit. We got a vibe and kill the end. I just love the seven pillars of light. It's so cool. They really did. This has been incredible.
is so good. Just waiting for the raids. I mean, once I, if I have time today, I'll probably start him at least. And considering I imagine this is the last trial, I might get to them today. literally just, just does sound like a Pokemon song. This is insane. Oh shit, here we go. Here we go. Fucking savage, the song is so good. I can imagine.
Oh shit. Oh, there I go. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> 
Damn it, I died right at the end. Are you serious? Unless you died right at the last second. God damn it. <laughs> but oh my god, that was cool. So hey, it's the saw. <laughs> Healer brain with burr. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I I could hardly attack during that. I w I was just oh. Uh... <laughs> oh fuck. Come on. Again? Oh no. Oh! Oh, Astinian. Let's go, Astinian. Are you alright? I'm okay, Astinian. I feel like you don't think about that, baby. No worry. <laughs> Let's go, Ishtola. Let's go, Zero. Right in the eye crystal thing. Let's go, Fashan! Hell yeah! Oh. How are you supposed to stop the. <gasps> what? Gobbers? Huh? What do you mean Gobbers is helping us? Like all void scent, Zeromas cannot be killed. Sealing it in memoria Dragoons is, is the only trim. way. Oh shit. Echo. Oh boy. and futility of it all. Oh. No. I will not let it be for naught. I will not allow you to pass. I will triumph in my crusade. There is no triumph to be found in this madness. True. Even if the veil were to be unraveled, it would not undo what darkness has done to the world. Yeah. Nor would it bring Golbez back. From his slumber, you know there is no return. Mm. You're weak and imperfect. Mm. You know it in your heart. In spite of this, do you truly believe that you can save everyone? Are you sure you will not fail? I'm no better. Weak and imperfect and plagued by doubt. Which is why I need friends to walk beside me. Yeah.
Oh, the light. Is she gonna share it? This is proof that I believe in others, and they in turn believe in me. A light that illuminates the way in darkest despair. Be it in a ruined city locked in ice, or a world drowning in light, it was with faith in one another that life endured. I see it clearly now. You think we are capable of the same? Yeah. Of course you are. It won't be easy. <coughs> Having lived too long as Void Scent, we've forgotten how to trust. But one thing is certain. If Seromus succeeds and everyone dies, we'll never have the chance to try. He's got a point. You asked me to join hands with you once. And I refused. I cannot take back that mistake. Aww. But I can extend to you the same offer. Aww. We can be better than we have been. Yeah. I believe in you guys. years ago yeah. <laughs> yes I remember now we hoped you would join us in our quest to end the Contra Memoria but you rejected us outright it left both of us discouraged mm. Golbez most of all mm. If we could but overcome the fear that has shaped and divided us, we could change everything. Mm. Even in the midst of that terrible war, he never stopped believing in others. Not even at the end. You're Golbez now. If you would live up to his name, then you must trust in people as he yeah. did. Yeah. I cannot forgive what you have done to my sister. Understandable. But she may yet be saved. Yeah. If you can help us see her safely home, and protect the source. Then... As Zero's friends, we should gladly share what knowledge we have to help you restore the Void. Yeah. You truly believe the world of old can be ours again? Huh. I do. So long as we work together. Hell yeah. Mm. And that's why you're here helping us. Aww. 
We got this. Oh shit. Slash. 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 Oh shit. Don't fall. Falling bad. Damn. We will disperse Seromus's essence once more. Okay. The instant we do, you must call to Ashdaya. Understood. Ooh. Slice. Let's go. Oh no, not not let's go. A scythe broke. Oh no. Oh no. Zero. Uh oh. Uh oh. Zero. Zero, you okay? Uh-oh. The scythe's broken. The scythe's broken. The suffocating darkness. Oh. Like that of the rift. Oh. You're dead? Impenetrable. Disorienting, untethered, and drifting further away. Zero. Be strong, Zero. Don't give up. <gasps> Hold fast to yourself. Look to the light within. Yeah. Come on, Zero. Your place isn't alone in the dark, Zero. Not anymore. Come on, Zero. She's up. She's awake, but her scythe is still broken. Ah. Oh. Your scythe is broken. How are you gonna? Zero. Whoa. Whoa. That's a lot more light than I remember being in you. You're right. <clears throat> you needn't worry about me. Hell yeah. But your scythe is still broken. With this power from beyond the rift, I can do it. I can save everyone. Hell yeah. But you know your scythe is still broken. Whoa. Is she going Super Saiyan? <gasps> oh, she's back to normal! She's back to her human self. She's not a void scent anymore. Maybe. Then lend me your strength. Let's go, Golbez. Light and dark, let's go. Oh my god, is he casting Meteor? <laughs> Let's go. Go, call to us, Daya, Ashdaya. Call to her. Right. Retra. Uh, 
Hell yeah. Okay, but do you have a body? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on, Zero. No more, fiend. Zero? <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. Get crystallized. Okay, but where's Ajdaya? Okay, he's still there. Let's go. How are you gonna get a body though? You're safe now, Ajdaya. You're safe. Oh. Special crystal. Oh, to my sister, I shall offer up the eye in this vessel. Ah. We dragons bring forth progeny with our very life force. That which my eye harbors should be enough to grant her corporeal form. Nice. Of course, this means I shall no longer have control over this vessel. I must ask you escort Ajdaya to the surface in my stead. Gladly. <laughs> we came to bring her home, and we'll do just that. You have my word. Hell yeah. Thank you. Oh. At long last, we shall be together again. Oh, she's small. Oh, she's small. You. Ah, tiny Ashdaya. Tiny Ashdaya. dream once but oh. having witnessed your miracles i cannot help but believe nevertheless i am the villain who wrought this tragedy and in my misguided crusade i compounded my sins my place is not at your side mm. <laughs> Regardless of how you may feel, by lending me your strength, you've made amends. You've earned a new beginning. Yeah. It's up to you what we become to one another. Yeah.
What we couldn't do yesterday, we might still do today. Hell yeah. Working together. And should we want for strength, we need only rally more like-minded souls to our cause. Hell yeah. So let's take the first step. The two of us. Ah! Yeah. <coughs> Come on, go there. Hell yeah. Let's get back to the surface, shall we? And then back to the source. Okay, but how are we going to, you know, seal the, 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 the void gate? Never did I imagine that the light I bore could bring about such a change. As our domains are shaped by our innermost desires, perhaps this is a reflection of the hope that had quickened in my heart. You came to the 13th to rescue Ashdaya and protect your world. Our meeting was happenstance and our association one of mutual convenience. Yet you and yours always treated me with kindness, as a friend. And through your friendship I found a new beginning. I'm forever in your debt. <sighs> hey, free trust. She felt it would be inappropriate for him to be present at your reunion with Ajdaya. Uh -huh. And chose to remain down in the chasm. If you wish to hear an apology, however, I should be glad to drag him here. <laughs> So, what will you do now? I've learned much, journeying together with you. Experienced things I could never have experienced alone. Together with Golbez, I hope to do the same as we labor to restore the 13th. Hmm. Then I suppose it's farewell for now. Be sure to share with Golbez what you've learned of the source and its reflections, as well as the true nature of light and dark. He is as resourceful as he is determined, oh, yeah. and will surely make the very most of the insights. Indeed. Once we've gained a better understanding of the situation, mm. I hope we can rely on your counsel. Yeah. But of course, I too shall continue probing new possibilities. The better to be of aid when the time comes. Ah, speaking of which. Mm hmm. What's up, Stella? 
From ocean rise and cloud bank <gasps> form, from mountain spring and rainfall storm. Is it time again? Life be born. Is she doing it again? Ah. Save water, water, froth and foam. Save water, water, froth and foam. I know you want to. I know you want to be Stola. <laughs> I revised the incantation. <laughs> to say you know how it went before. <laughs> Are we clear? Sure. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> we just killed a god. Provided me with spare warding scales, which apparently and then we do this quirky stuff. Before. Whoa. Nom, nom, nom. This should keep the familiar safe. So long as you give the Nixie ether from time to time, it will persist. And serve as a beacon. No more water, water, froth, you. and foam, Sag. I know, right? Depressing. Already <laughs> we find ourselves with a new ally. Thank you. Aww. When you have the chance, please thank everyone for me. I will. Those in Razatan, Garlemald, Charlien. The first and on the moon. Yeah. Huh. A lengthy list. Gladly. A gift for Reen. <gasps> In return for the light she helped me harness. It's the memoria holding Zeromus. Wait, are you sure you want to give that away? If used to augment darkness in the first, it may help to create balance between our worlds. Oh. An excellent idea. Yeah. Similarly, why not entrust the Archfiend's Memoria to Zero? Yeah. In that case, I shall pass them on to Golbez to inspire and admonish him in equal measure. <laughs> See you again, right? You will, I'm sure. Just don't try to forcibly summon me. I won't come. <laughs> Taking so many photos. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Uh, how are you gonna get down from the moon? Zero, do you know how you're gonna get down from the moon? Low back in track. Till we meet again. Bye, Zero. Aww. 
No matter where we are, or how much time passes, our bond will endure. This, I believe. Hell yeah. It, it, it will do. Just jump to Earth, Billy. She's not a dragoon. She can't do that. She's a paladin. Right, I forgot that's the start of the quest. Oh, welcome back, everyone. While you were away, a wrench in the fabric of reality suddenly appeared. Through it, we could, see, we could observe you locked in furious battle with Zeromus. By the time we closed up, we had seen your victory. Well done, by the way. But we still couldn't breathe easy until we knew for certain you were safe and sound. And here you are, thank heavens. She has a visibility mod that she can use right before impact. Fair. Dare I hope Ashdaya is safe too? And Zero? In a word, yes. Just crash into Earth face first and get rezzed. <laughs> Though we could not return Ashdaya to her original form, Rachel granted her a new vessel using one of his eyes. Her circumstances are unique, but it nevertheless gives me hope that there may be a way to save other void sense. As for Zero, she has chosen to remain in her world and do what she can to restore it. Ah, so the light of hope shines again amidst the darkness. Perhaps our research into environments capable of supporting life would be use of use in the 13th. Aha, uh -huh, now there's a thought. A day may come when the people of the source in the 13th work hand in hand. And in, in anticipation of this, we must accumulate even more useful technology. Ah, but don't let us detain you with our cavalcade of, br cavalcade of brilliant ideas. We'll see that the gate is closed and the seal deactivated. So go home and get some rest. That includes you, Orion J. As thou dost command, pray convey our gratitude to the Watcher for his timely assistance. That's a ban of my first aid tanking and accidentally faffing my invincibility button after a healer just healed me to fall. That's fair, actually. <laughs> so it seems Vritra is preparing to depart. Come, let us descend to the Tower of Babel. Upon arriving in Garlemald, it would be in meet to inform Eulus of our mission's outcome. Let us seek him out at Tertium. living way he lives with such nice people that true we are <laughs> I say for having only been a healer for like a month <laughs> less than oh it's you again is everything all right Everything's done. The world is safe. Again. <laughs> so you were able to rescue Ashdaya. Thank the Twelve. I know, right? And now there's no more Channel threat of void. The first was rather ingenious. It may fall Thanks for giving me someone to blame for when I die instead of accepting my own tanking failure. You're welcome. <laughs> You're too kind. Suffice it to say, though, that I don't intend to rest on these laurels. There's always more to be done. Oh, yeah, of course. You still gonna go back to the first. Zero stayed in the void, did she? Well, if I had known it would come to that, I would have said a proper farewell. Oh, you know. Don't take your words to heart. Really? Yeah. I don't remember saying anything profound. <laughs> Still, I'm glad that she got something out of her time here. Yeah, me too. As the days roll on, things will change for the both of us. 
but yeah. some things will remain as they are. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, Zero will always be a friend and comrade. Oh yeah. And I will never forget her. Me neither. If she's working tirelessly to restore the 13th, it wouldn't do to be outdone here. <laughs> next Zero visits, we must see to it that you have a shiny new Garlemald to show her. Hell yeah. Indeed. And speaking of rebuilding, there's a matter I'd like to discuss with you and Alfino. Uh huh? Word has spread of our dealings with Razatan, and people are excited by the prospect of standing on our own two feet again. Naturally, it won't be straightforward. Naturally. It never is. But on the never whole, <laughs> I have a good feeling about things. Hell yeah, Eula. In other words, it may be time for us to limit our involvement. That Garleans might take the lead? I can see the sense in that. To maybe take a summer vacation no, no, that's not what I meant at all. to a place called Toral. <laughs> Seeing as things are going well, we want you to take a rest. A proper rest. That's what I wanted to say on everyone's behalf. Why are learning to help each other so desperately? Absolutely. You've done so much for us already. Toiled beside We're sure no conflicts will arrive on that. Absolutely not. It's just going to be happiness and chill vibes. You've earned a reprieve a hundred times over. So go on. Step away from here and head wherever you like. But if it were me, I'd choose somewhere warm. Like Toral. Oh, don't you play footfalls, I'm gonna cry. Don't you play footfalls, I'm gonna cry. I, I was thinking of taking a break. What Ali say? Far be it from us to go against such a heartfelt request. Though I would be lying were I to say matters here wouldn't weigh on our minds. We could take a leaf out of Zero's book and roam about for a while. Maybe visit nations who share little history with Garlemald. Look for opportunities to foster future relations. We might learn something of recent foreign affairs that has escaped our notice. As an independent party, you would be well suited to the task. An excellent idea, I would say. Well, that hardly sounds like a rest at all. To us, it is the best kind of rest. Stimulating and meaningful. If it's settled, then let's return to Charlian and consider our options. What about the rest of you? Do you have any plans? I think I'm also going to go somewhere warm. We're indebted to Lord Fortuno and his colleagues for their cooperation. It would be neat to report on the outcome of our yeah. mission. True. Then it seems we are all bound for Charlian. Upon arriving, let us seek out Athelies at the Rostra and have her notify Father. I'm really, I really am. Near the end of the MSQ. Well, it's not set in yet. <laughs> I know we'll be back in like two, like in like three months, but still. <laughs> oh, Charlian. I really am near the end of end one. I'm nearly caught up. 
Wait, are you the signs of the Seventh Dawn? Or were, rather. I understand you've disbanded. An audience with Lord Fortuno. You're in luck. The forum has just this moment adjourned, and he is still inside with the scholar. Please wait here while I inform them of your presence. Hi, Fortuna. Apologies to have kept you. I trust you won't object if Scholar Montashane also, also attends. Uh, Montashane's chill. My incorrigible children. Were you not assisting with Garlemont's reconstruction? Our hosts were most insistent that we take a rest. So here we are. But more importantly, Mia has news that she would share with you. Uh, the world's saved again. You're welcome. So the threat has passed. These are glad tidings indeed. Harnessing light from the first. A technological triumph that could have ended in catastrophic failure. But let us not dwell on hypothetical. Yeah, it worked, dumbass. Like the ether from the Isle of Harm, you employed the light for peaceful, albeit unanticipated, purposes. Knowledge exists to serve the greater good, as my father was fond of saying. I'm inclined to agree, in this instance. It has been established that the world-ending crises in the reflections has co are con connected to calamities in the source. As such, the strides you made in understanding the nature of and affecting the change in a reflection may one day prove vital for mankind's preservation. The Forum will be eager to review your accounts thoroughly, for every drop of water that serves to swell the great river of knowledge. Looks at Ishtala. Might we prevail upon you to prepare a comprehensive report, Ishtala, on the subjects of the Void and Cross Rift travel both? It would be my pleasure. We will share these tidings with those who aided you, Kokol Dankol, least, not least of all. Now, if you'll excuse us, we must be on our way. I should be glad to speak with you both later. The thing is now, I don't know which one's going to be the lot. Oh, it's grow this is the last. This is the last 6.5 quest. Here's the last 6.5 quest. With that, our obligations here are concluded. Onidana, what news from Thavna? They've returned then. Wonderful. Rest assured all is well with us too. Is that so? We would be honoured, of course. I shall relay this to the others. A great feast is to be held at Rad in Radset Han to celebrate Ajdaya's homecoming. We've all been invited. I'm afraid my sister and I must decline. They've only just returned home. To leave again so soon would be inconsiderate to our parents. With regret, I too must excuse myself from attendance. A prior commitment requires that I remain in Shalyan. Let not our absence deter you, however. Pray enjoy yourselves to the fullest. I have no plans in particular, so you can count me in. I may as well visit the Radiant Host while I'm there. How about you, Mia? Far be it from me to turn down free food. That's the spirit. Ah, but what about the Memoria Crystal? It would be remiss of us not to deliver it promptly to our friends in the past. <laughs> oh, shit. I can go to the Crystarium and back immediately. Also, if they are to transfer light and dark between worlds, they would need command over the Crystal Tower. In which case, I will give you my spirit vessel to take again. When you arrive in the Crystarium, the sentry at the tower should be able to round up everyone for you. Once you've seen the matters there, come and join us at Megaduta. 
give everyone our regards, you hear? Gladly. Back to the first. God, this game is amazing. Welcome back, madam. Yes, she is. Very good. If you'll get head inside, I shall send for Captain Lena and Backlog at once. played a role in saving the Exarch's home, and yours. Furthermore, the endeavor served to reaffirm the bond between the peoples of Norrat. Hell yeah. Nurturing this bond, we will strive to be an example for the world Zero aspires to restore. Hell yeah. Right, I have this to give you. crystal i can feel it the tremendous darkness within i'm gonna try and use it to help balance light and dark Using darkness from the void to restore balance to this world if such a thing could be done yeah well well though night has returned to our world Darkness cannot arise of its own accord, much less in abundance. Yeah. But if it could be brought here in like manner to how we channeled light to the void, it may well be possible to restore the empty in its entirety. Yeah. Hell yeah. Do you still have that spirit vessel with you? Of course I do. If so, I beg you loan it to me for a time. I would use it to investigate a way to have the tower receive rather than send energy. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. While I make no promises at this stage, I shall rigorously explore the possibility. I too need to explore new possibilities for my powers. Hell yeah. My recent experience at Navatha Rang has taught me that. To that end, I will set aside botany for a time. Aww. And focus instead on myself. That's a good idea, Rain. Knowing Zero is <clears throat> out there, doing her utmost to restore her own world, it inspires me to redouble my efforts. Hell yeah. There you are. Gaia! I waited and waited, but you never came. What have you been doing here? Gaia! That's how I was really don't just misremember when she appears. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi, Gaia. Do I know you? Uh. 
Don't tell me you lost your memory again. Oh, I'm just teasing. I wouldn't forget oh, you. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> I'm still keeping my diary, adding new memories to it every day. You funky little lesbian. Not only that, Gaia's writing a story <gasps> too. She is. I can't wait for it to become a book. They're so gay. About that. What were you talking about? Wait, so if you haven't done Eden, does this entire thing just not happen? Darkness from the void. Oh, there's an idea. Yeah. Of course, if you're dealing with darkness, Rowena alone won't cut it. True. Next time, call on me as well, all right? Okay. Gladly. Aww. But today I kissed Reen, but just over and over and over again. <laughs> it was a mighty struggle, but I had faith that you would be victorious in the end. I doubt not that the warrior people of Norvrand will cheer when they learn that the warrior of darkness managed to save her home. I know you're a busy woman, so don't let us keep you. Rest assured that we will continue to work to continue the work we've begun. <sighs> They're so gay. Look at them. They're so gay. Anyway. That's the last time I'm gonna be in the first for the MSQ. Possibly ever. Uh that's not terrifying. Mrs. Wildberry, you honor us with your presence. Though I am but a humble servant, I offer you my heartfelt thanks for rescuing the Satrap's beloved sister. Well, but without further ado, the great feast to celebrate this joyous occasion is about to begin. The venue is Merid's Mahane, and you are a guest of honor. This guy, the alcoholic. <laughs> Aww. He's sleeping. Ah! You. Donna. Dola. <laughs> it cannot be. Nabdeen, we did it. We, we succeeded, Nabdeen. Oh, Vashan. My oh. little brother. Right, that. <laughs> to think that I will never see you again. <laughs> the way you carry on, anyone would think he was actually your brother. Yeah. Save your tears now. His Excellency still has one of his eyes. And he has made it clear he intends to continue using his vessel. You'll see Varshan again. Never fear. Truly. But will it be the little one? <laughs> Personally, I prefer the adult vessel. It cuts a gallon figure and his superior functionality besides. Yeah. Bah. I don't care about such things. And he just wants a little brother. My little brother is little and adorable. <laughs> Sisters, give me strength. <laughs> <laughs> me too, me darling. So loved. Oh, he's 
Stunla and I love you, Stunla. He's eaten. And he's dead. I'm a Leo. <laughs> What's that? <sighs> Had enough of the revelry, Hibby. Yeah, a little bit. Hi, Stinian. Damn, Mistinian. What's next for our hero? I don't know. No need to decide just yet. You'll recall our escapades in the void began with a treasure map I paid entirely too much guilt for. Yeah, way too much guilt. You can't force an adventure. It'll happen when it happens. And you'll know when the time is right. Yeah. Till then, it's good to lend an ear to others and their tales. Huh. And speaking of others. Hey, Stella! Discussing each other's plans, are we? Yeah. Alas, I have nothing exciting to share. Mm. I foresee an extended confinement in my Charlian chambers, yeah. compiling my theories on cross rift travel. Understandable. My research may be classified, prohibited by the powers that be. <laughs> But so long as a bond exists between people, ever shall our worlds be connected. Yeah. As it stands, a means to travel to the first is within reach. Yeah, it's possible. I would be satisfied even should my research not exist in an official capacity. Aww. And what of you, Estinian? Have you any plans? And he's gone. <laughs> you think he's a ninja with that kind of stealth. <laughs> he never was one to stay put for long. Though I've no doubt he will make himself known when needed. Absolutely. I've been there. <laughs> Aww. Huh? Reach that? What's that? <laughs> question, I maybe. What is the question? Also, hello, Dilly. It was a lively feast, was it not? And it impressed upon me but once again how dear Vridra is to his people. Well, as much as I should like to linger, it is past time I took my leave. If you mean to depart as well, I suggest you call on Vridra before setting out. And before I forget, Thank you. For everything we learned and for everything we accomplished, I couldn't be more grateful. Till next time, take care. Currently in the press of Fisher of an anime, which one? Adventure of Guy? Never heard of it, so. I can't hear much help. Tiny Vashan! Ti Tiny Vashan! Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the festivities. To be able to celebrate as Dai's return with everyone was moving beyond words. Unless you wonder, I've chosen to use this vessel for now. The better to rescue my sister about Ratatan. There's so much X mark in the BS at the end. Oh my god. <laughs> This leaves my true form without an eye, but I do not anticipate having need of it in the, in the immediate future. Long have I dreamed of showing Ashdaya my beautiful city, a glittering jewel born of unity, and I shall relish every moment of it. 
Now then, I believe both Ishtola and Estinian have embarked on their respective journeys. But have you yourself kept business elsewhere? If not, you are welcome to remain here as long as you like. Should all of import arise, we will inform you. But until such a day arrives, I bid you take your ease. The Dragon Quest anime? Ah! Oh. I didn't know there was a Dragon Quest anime. Meanwhile, in Old Charlian. What's happening in Old Charlian? Cryo! Everything appears to be in order. That's good. Because it's charming, oh boy. Oh, finished at last. Hell yeah, Cryo. So time consuming. How nice would it be to have a mammoth to handle such tasks? How's everything here? Everything's good. I'm near the end of the main story. I'm nearly actually caught up with this game. Now then, let's have a look at you. I have a feeling where that's inviting Quite someone old, to. this letter. We'll oh. need to store it carefully. Oh. Has it ever been opened? Addressed to grandfather. Oh shit! Come all the way from Tuliolo, from a Gulu, someone. Whoa. Oh, the ink's too faded. Hardly Aww. anything is legible. Come on. There's too many things something. after fourteen. I have so many things I need to stream. <laughs> I'll choose one of these. A commission to investigate the Golden City in Tural. Time! Da 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 da. No one ever commissioned <laughs> such a commission, <laughs> nor have I seen any records. <laughs> Find your wings and spread them wide. Hmm. Something else in here. Oh? Really? What over? an unusual earring. How does it relate to the petition, I wonder? What? Oh, did you go there, Grandfather? Time. To the Golden City in Tural. I mean, we're going to in a couple months. Oh, Charlene's so pretty. Boat. Boat. <gasps> Erinville! <sighs> Erinville? You okay? Back oh. again already, after making a show of leaving. Yeah, you weren't gone for that long. Oh, I know who that is. Well, that is <laughs> I know who that is. From Tuliolo, yes. Show her to me, cowards. Show her to us, cowards. Come, let's go and find your candidate, our adventure friend. Me? Ah. <gasps> <laughs> when one door closes... Ah, Mia. One of my clerks was just here with a message for you. The students of Baldessian request your presence in Charlie and your earliest convenience. Indebted as I am to our friends, I had hoped that I too might be of service, but it is you alone that they require. If you've no pressing business, pray make your way to the Baldessian Annex at once. Ojika awaits your arrival. 6.55 In the meantime, I shall continue showing Ashdaya the city. From notable landmarks to the people's lives, there's still much more for her to see. Farewell for now, my friend. 
I look forward to the day we set forth on another adventure together. I am so fucking excited. Oh, there's the annex. Oh, Chica. A warm and heavy, hearty welcome to you, Nia. I gather you received our message. Please wait here while I fetch Krylon and Graha. We gotta see Graha! We haven't seen Graha in so long! Graha! Krylon! Put the hood down. Thank you for coming on such short notice. And forgive us for sending you, for you so soon after your trials in the void. Now then, we weren't actually the ones who require your presence, but Erinville, she's wearing earrings. Yeah. He stopped by recently, you see, and asked us to reach out to you on, out to you on his behalf. I imagine you're as surprised as we are, given that I, he was supposed to be on a way on a long expedition. Well, so cute. I love crying. Something must have necessitated a change in his plans. All he would tell me is that there was someone whom he wishes me to meet. Is there now? He also mentioned that it would be tending to business at the studio. Shall we look for him there? When did 6.55 come out? Zaina was like relatively recently. But I don't know how recently. Well, was it before or after FanFest? And you're 16, so after FanFest, right? Now then, where's Evanville? Mm -hmm. One week after. There he is! Show her to me. Show her to me, cowards. Apologies for the wait. I hope I haven't called you away from anything important. Actually, I just finished something important. I chanced upon some commissioned items at my destination, so I thought I might deliver them. Ah. Oh. Where did you go, if I may ask? It's been so long since I've heard Graha's voice. The New World. Tural. You went to Tural. <laughs> the person who you wish to introduce. A <laughs> cryo. Aye, she hails from there. I present to you. Show me. <laughs> well, it seems you've lost her. <laughs> Did she wander off? <laughs> Oh! Sorry, sorry. It's just so different here. Ah! I can't help but want to explore. Oh, she's a warrior! Well, while you were exploring, your candidate came to us. <laughs> this is her. The adventurer you crossed the seas to meet. Ooh, you aren't exaggerating. <gasps> Look at her! <laughs> Look at her! I'm Wuklamat. Look at her. Tuli Yolor. <laughs> it's Tural's governing nation. The Trans icon. True. I'll get to the point. I want you to come with me to my homeland. Hell yeah. <laughs> Given the magnitude of the request, perhaps you should explain why you it? <laughs> I love Erinville. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Soon, an event of great import will be held in Tural. The Rite, Rite of Succession. Of succession. Huh? Taking the form of a contest, 
It will determine who next ascends the throne. Ah. As daughter to its present keeper, I will participate. And I have every intention of winning. Oh fuck, yeah you do. With that I kind of axe, how would you not? To join me when Arendelle told me about you. A mighty warrior who knows no fear, who sweeps aside terrible fiends as if they were reeds. <laughs> Flew to the edge of existence and saved our star. Okay, that I did do. <laughs> she asked who Eorzea's greatest hero was, and so I told her. Much more elegantly, I might add. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm gonna now cry. <laughs> you come to Toral, yes? Of course. Gladly will come out. Wait, let's all just slow No, I'm going with her, Graha. Shut up! Wuklamat, was it? <laughs> you claim to be of the royal family, but is it not the Mamulja who wore in Toral? Ah. Tuli Hyolal is a nation of many peoples. Not only the Mamulsha, as some across the seas are quick to assume. Damn. That Tell him how it is. Its present ruler is a Mamulsha, and one blessed with two heads besides. <laughs> He's also my father. Two heads? Not by blood, huh? obviously. But he raised me as his own, huh. and that's what matters. Ishtola has her wrath. Let, her let us have ours. <laughs> that is the way. My apologies if I was indelicate. Yeah, I'm not a fairy, but... <laughs> I know little about your land, and nothing about your parentage. <laughs> I love her! Uh, but in my eagerness, I've gotten ahead of myself. I can't expect you to agree on this spot when we both just met. Oh, I'm agreeing. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. <laughs> just know, though, that if it's adventure you seek, you can do far worse than come with me. Fuck yeah. No. This is only a rumor. Yeah. But apparently, the contest will involve the fabled city of gold <gasps> and the legendary beast, Valigarmanda. Valigarmanda? Tell me that doesn't pique your interest. Oh, it does. You have my complete attention. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get along, you and I. Hell yeah, we are. Thrall has no shortage of unexplored frontiers and deadly fiends. You'll never want for excitement, I promise you. I advise you not to put much store by these rumors. I think that's some kind of gonna pass on <laughs> like Wu the bat and now Wu Klamat. Dreamer who was bent on finding one when he was a child. Just because you failed doesn't mean it doesn't exist. He's got a point. <laughs> Tuli Yolal and the Golden City. Yeah. Just like in the letter to grandfather. Oh crying. <laughs> Regardless of what the contest may entail, it'll be no simple thing. If I'm to triumph, I'll need capable and dependable companions. Gladly. So let's go on a hunt together. There's <gasps> no better way to get acquainted. Gladly. Kyle, I know you have a giant paintbrush lying around somewhere. Fucking give it to me. I need it. Give me that giant paintbrush. I need it. I know you have it somewhere, Kyle. I know you have it somewhere. Give it to me. The chance to not only see Toral, but the fabled Golden City besides. This is the stuff of grand adventures, my friend. Which is not to say you should hastily accept this invitation, mind. There's still a great deal we do not know. So, let us begin to rectify that by first getting acquainted with our visitor in the manner she suggests. I'm not certain what might be suitable for a suitable location for her hunt, however. Labyrinthos? 
When I was at the Gildalia, I learned about a petition from researchers from the Isle of the, on the Isle of Ham. He went there not long ago and killed some unruly fauna, of course. But according to the recent reports, another ordinary docile fauna have grown savage. It's believed that they've been unsettled by some manner of predator, and so their researchers seek assistance with identifying and dispatching it. As part of your hunt, perhaps you could might answer the petition. Your ally isn't far, and we would also be helping those in need. What is this music? What is this music? <clears throat> that works for me. Just so you know, I've honed my skills against some of the fiercest beasts in Tyrell. Whatever this creature is, I, it had better be able to put up a proper fight, or it'll end before we have the chance to get acquainted. <laughs> I love her! <laughs> what is this music? But before we can prove ourselves capable and dependable companions, my apologies, but I must see to some preparations. Pray go on ahead to the island, I'll join you as soon as possible. With a giant paintbrush, maybe? If the rest of you are ready, let us head to the harbour. This being guild ship. If this being guild ship business, it should be simple to, enough to secure a vessel. I'm so happy right now. Da 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 do 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 So we have to take a ship? Ah, oh, I barely set foot on dry land. Oh well, I suppose it's for a good cause. Ah, uh -huh. come on, let's get going. Ooh, a several cutscenes will play in sequence? Ooh, gladly. Oh, the Isle of Harm is so cool. From here, we must walk. So much ice. It rivals even Yoktural. Yoktural? I want to visit that place. I want to go. Oh, a white bear. I wonder what it tastes like. Huh? Remember, we're here to deal with creatures that have been deemed an unacceptable danger. Do not attack anything else unprovoked. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> she sounds so. She's so sad. No. So this is the aisle where ether literally bursts forth. Yep. It's cool. I've been here before. Aye, the Isle of Harm. The geysers lie deep inland, however. You really are knowledgeable. Kona told me nothing about this place. Oh. I doubt your brother managed to come out this way. He's like to have toured facilities like Labyrinthos, however. The great big cavern under the city. It's amazing that they could make a sky down there complete with a sun. I'm so this happy. brother of yours, he has been to Charliot. Bruh, your voice sounds like he that. has. Kona's my second older brother, and until recently, he was a student in this city. He went on and on about technological amusements. 
You made me want to come here too one day. Mm. And here you are. And so I did. I think I understood something of how he felt when I set foot in his beloved studio. He went to the studio? Your brother must be quite a scholar. <laughs> but I wonder. Like you, he'd be royalty, yes? With such a personage coming to Charlien to receive an education would surely have caused a stir, yet I recall nothing of the sort. He consulted with the head of the studium beforehand that his identity might remain secret. Yeah? Being Mikote, he had no trouble blending in. Oh, he's, he's a Mikote. Like me, you see. One time, though, he almost let it slip to a professor. <laughs> it was all he could do to parry the barrage of questions. Aww. Having no shortage of questions myself, I can imagine. <laughs> Ask whatever you like. I don't mind. But I maintain hunting together is the best way to get to know someone. Hell yeah. Remember the ring. The researchers should be up ahead. Let's find them and learn what we can. Yeah. Fight time, maybe. Well, until there's a fight. Here we go. The researcher should be just ahead. Cool. There. The building to the northeast. Sounds good. So ordinarily harmless creatures have grown savage. Don't know what's got them riled up, but I'll take down any that think to try me. Oh, look at her. Right. Oh, cool. I love her so much. Someone's in trouble. Yeah, taste my axe. These animals are usually so docile. <laughs> Thank goodness you've come. I take it you're the one who wants an application. Wait, aren't you? You are! Me, the adventurer who saved our star! Would that our meeting was under better circumstances. I was conducting a routine inspection of the transporter here when I suddenly found myself surrounded. You'll find more of the same across the chasm. Once docile animals grown strangely aggressive. My colleagues there can tell you more. If you'll give me just a moment, I can finish checking our equipment. <laughs> I did save the world. And for good reason, as you'll soon see for yourself. <laughs> you flatter me, Raha. Let's go. <laughs> Quite an interesting contraption you've got here. I love her so much. I love her so much. I love her so much. The should come to my own answer my petition, I presume. We're most fortunate to have one of your considerable skill here to aid us. A creature of unknown origins has been sighted on the island in recent days, and we believe its presence has, been effect has affected the local fauna. The animals beyond this gate are the worst effect we've encountered thus far, though we dare not go back. Your task is to quell any threats you find, and search for traces of the beast responsible for all this. Should you find anything, anything at all, we'd be most grateful if you would share it with us. I'll handle this. 
I'm sure you will, Lucilla. What's she doing? Oh my god! God damn! Is that all? <laughs> I love this one. Let's pick up the creature's trail. Gladly. You find various beast remains known to shreds by sharp talons. It's claw marks. I've seen their like before. Oh? You have? <laughs> It's starting to feel like a proper hunt. She's so happy. Okay. Find feathers are scattered about the ground. There are signs of a fierce struggle. Feathers. But did they belong to the predator or the prey? So, how do you prefer our prey? Roasted or raw? <laughs> I love her! Safe to eat. I love her. The cloying stench of fresh leavings assails your nostrils. Whatever beast left them is likely still close by. Whatever this beast is, it cannot be far. Look at her go! I love her so much. Oh, that's a that's a big thing. Powerful wings and razor sharp talons. <laughs> Worthy prey. <laughs> I love her. Uh, that's not the thing we're looking for, though. Okay. That's a big guy. Ah, what is that thing? Ugh. It, it speaks? <laughs> She's also my best friend now. Oh. I'll stay with the researchers. The creature, I leave to you. Gladly. Come, Wotlamat. Come on. These animations are so good as well. Hunting trips with Xena, Zestinian, Grahar, and Wuklamat would go Just so hard. <laughs> I wasn't startled by the beast earlier. It caught me by surprise, that's all. Sure. Forgive me, but I failed to see a difference. Yeah. I'm getting hungry. Let's be done with this so we can eat. Off that beak and roast you on a spit! 
Jesus. He's crazy. I'm okay with that. She's just like me for real, for real. <laughs> oh, I'm going to enjoy sinking my teeth into you. <laughs> yeah, shut up already, you blasted bird. I would say, I'd say I can fix that. But you can't fix something that's really perfect. Exactly. You can't fix perfection. Oh shit! Oh my god! She's insane. She's incredible. Why don't I stand in? God damn it. God damn it. Resume from midway, please. Anyway. Thank fuck it has. We're gonna check. Such an enormous colibri. Not good. Quickly, gather together. Hey, this. I've got you. He's so cool. There we go.
go. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my god. He's insane. He's awesome. There we go. Da da da. <laughs> and I had barely limbered up. <laughs> was a terrible foe, but no match for your axe. Hell yeah. Oh, only to be expected. You were pretty impressive yourselves. I was right to invite you on a hunt. But what a curious bird that was. <laughs> No, we have similar in uh -oh. They don't grow so big or use uh -oh. such dirty tricks. Dirty tricks? Dirty tricks? Uh oh. I dirty and despicable. Otherwise, I could have easily. Oh no. Uh oh. <gasps> yeah! Swish that paintbrush! <laughs> Let's go! I knew you had it with you, Cryo. Seeing the researchers to safety, it was all I could do to keep up with her after I explained. What oh. Look at her. So this is what you meant by seeing to preparation. Yeah, she's getting picked on once already. After hearing of the contest, I thought how wonderful it would be to join you. Hell yeah, Kyle. 
In coming here, I wanted to demonstrate my skill at arms to Wuklamat. Alas, it seems I missed most of the action. That's okay, Charlie. You, you, you dealt the finishing blow. That was amazing! The piece didn't stand a chance! Oh. I'm glad to have been of service. Hell yeah, Cryo. May I ask what inspired this change? Yeah. You will recall the time you descended to the ethereal sea in Take the monster! Recognizing that my skills were <sighs> inadequate, oh. I chose to provide support from afar rather than join you. Yeah. It was the same when you set forth for Ultima Thule. How it pained me to stay behind oh. again and again. Oh, cryo. That's what inspired this change. Ever since the final days were averted, I've used every spare moment to hone my craft. Hell yeah. As you all have adapted your methods to suit the circumstances, I started by considering how I might best contribute. And after much deliberation, I arrived at my answer. Ictomancy. Dude! <laughs> That's so cute! Passed down by the legendary Archon realm. Pictomancy. It's cool and all crowd, but please just give me the brush. I need it. I want it. You have embraced versatility to effectively complement a certain someone's style. <laughs> what I do is much the same. Like you, I don't want to be left behind. You won't be, Kryle. I love these characters so much. Indeed. <laughs> oh, Rafa. I must say... You appear to be especially keen on being involved in the ritual of succession. Yeah. Is there any particular reason? Yes. I love Cryo. This letter from Tuli Yolal. I love her. It was addressed to my grandfather Galuf and turned up among the students' archives. The ink was faded, so I couldn't fully make out the sender's name. Uh, Galul, someone. Jaja. Galul Jaja. That's my father, the Dawn Servant. Ah. What does the letter say? Dawn Servant? While much of it isn't legible, it appears to be a request to investigate the Golden City. Quest to investigate the Golden City from the Dawn Servant himself. Dawn? Dawn Shell reference? Oh, well. Seems it may be more than a rumor after all. Being a member of the royal family, it was my hope that you could confirm the authenticity of this letter. <laughs> I can say for a fact that my father didn't write this. D oh shit. Given how culturally diverse Toriyolal is, it was decided some time ago that a common language was needed. Makes sense. But instead of elevating an existing tongue and its speakers above all others, we looked to those widely spoken overseas and created an altogether new one. The similarities to your common tongue also make it quite easy to communicate in these situations, no? Yeah. This letter, however, is entirely in Aorsian. If father had written this, he would have been in Turali. Ah. And what's more, it bears a wax seal. We don't bother with them. <laughs> so Who the did? letter is fraudulent, then. Uh. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. My father's signature is genuine, as far as I can tell, so perhaps he simply dictated it. I see. 
Thank you for the confirmation. It seems my grandfather uh -huh. indeed had dealings with Tuli Yola. I can't help but be curious as to what exactly he was doing there. In order to help us decide on a course of action, would you mind if I asked you some questions about your home? By all means. After all, learning about one another was the purpose of this hunt. We can talk while feasting on this fellow. I, for one, am starving. <laughs> We're eating that. Yes, Ralph, huh? Did you see an issue? <laughs> oh, it's so good. Well, with the wildlife pacified and the research is safe, our task is complete. That just leaves the matter with the collar we need. For better or for worse, there's literally really only one place we can take it to here in Charlie and the Last Stand. Come, let's see what Dickon can cook up for us. I definitely won't have time to do start trials today, like all the raids and stuff today. But I definitely will tomorrow. Because after I've done the 6.55 quests, because I, I can't imagine there are that many. I can't imagine there are that many. So after we've done these, I'm probably gonna end the stream. Well now, there's a famished face if I've ever seen one. What can I get you, me? Big bud. Oh ho, bird meat from the hunt, you say? Leave it to me, I have just a recipe. It's a new dish I recently learned from some sailors. And for you lot, it's on the house. <clears throat> I'm not ending now. I'm ending after I've seen the credits. Just imagining Don't Show Q times makes me happy, me too. <laughs> it's a new dish I recently learned from some sailors. If you lot, it's on the house. Have as much as you like, yeah? Oh yeah, Don't Trail Q times are gonna be crazy. I'm gonna prep. Okay, fair. Come Have a good rest of your day, Sina Bunny. Let's enjoy the bounty of our first outing Thank together. You. Why? that Charlie and cuisine was terrible but this is fantastic <laughs> oh hey it's the curry what is this <laughs> it smells spicy yeah I recommend trying oh, a lot in one go since when did you become so soft it's not like we don't have spicy food in Tural too <laughs> oh no! <laughs> According to Dickon, intensely hot dishes have become popular in Razad Han <laughs> after a traveler ordered a curry with several times the usual amount of spice. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't know anything about that. No. So started offering the same. No, totally not. Harnish population here in Shalian. I definitely didn't know anything about that, nor did I have a hand in making that curry. Okay. It's nothing. She's I crying. Can. No. I love her so much. I love her so much. Your boorish manners reflect poorly on the both of us. I wish you would consider your station. <laughs> I swear, sometimes it feels like you open your mouth only to criticize. Damn! Would I be correct in assuming you've known each other for a long time? <laughs> I think it's Steve since we were little. Uh. I beg to differ. She is a long standing acquaintance. Nothing more. Sure, sure, Aaron. 
<laughs> I see. I see. <laughs> All this time you were from Taral. Oh, would that I had known sooner. There's so much I'd like to ask. Oh, Kyle. You and everyone else. I've kept it quiet so as to avoid the endless interrogations. Well, if he's going to be a miser, I'll be happy to tell you about <laughs> our homeland instead. Uh -huh. Since ancient times, many peoples have so called to our home, and they've been fighting each other for nearly as long. Uh -huh. The fighting finally stopped some 80 years ago, when the reigning Dawn Servant unified the disparate communities and founded a new nation. Hell yeah. And that's how Tuliola came to be. Since then, we've enjoyed an era of uninterrupted peace. But my father is getting old, and he wishes to relinquish the throne to a worthy successor. One who can preserve his legacy. Including myself, there are four claimants to the throne. But while we all have the right to participate, one among us cannot be allowed to rule. Mm. A man who is too ambitious by half. Word of the Garlean Empire's collapse has reached Tural. While most are simply relieved, he sees weakness to exploit and yeah. would lead our armies across the seas on a campaign of conquest. I also thought that. I'm so glad he's not. He's so cool. Us peace, he would drag us back into war. Hmm. Whoa. I can't allow it. Whoa. No matter what, I must win this contest. Hell yeah, I'm sure you will, Wukama. I understand your reasons. But this being an event that will dictate the course of your nation's future, is it appropriate for outsiders like us to be involved? Yeah. Oh, it's more than appropriate. The Dawn Servant himself expressly encourages it. The ruler of Tural must navigate the intricacies of myriad cultures, and there's no better way to prove oneself qualified to do so than to work with foreign allies. I guess that's smart, yeah? That's why I sought you out. Through our hunt, I've confirmed that you're a warrior of considerable skill. Thank and more you. More importantly, one of good character as well. Thank you. <clears throat> and so I ask you, will you lend me your strength? And help me win the throne of Tuli Hualal? You don't need to decide right this moment. I mean, I was gonna but say I yes will anyway. Need you if I'm to triumph over the competition, I'll stay here as long as I can while waiting for your answer. Mm. In that case. Allow us to prepare a room for you at the Baldessian Annex. That's very kind of you. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Once we finish eating, would you mind if I took the rest of the meat? Mind by me? <laughs> I love her so much. I love her so much. Whether Wok Lamont has the makings of a ruler, I couldn't say, but I do know that she ca deeply cares for her nation and her people. Whether you choose to help her, though, is for you and you alone to decide. Think on it well. Now then, it's past time I reported our mission success to the guild ship. I would have done so sooner, except her highness needed to have her royal meal. I shall come by the annex later. Till then. Bum, bum, bum. But it doesn't matter when it comes to making a like all cast of characters, literally. 
Okay, this is the last class. Coming dawn. Well, I dare say we have now have a fair grasp of Wuklamat's situation. Still, you've been afforded time to consider her invitation. Why not use it to learn more about Tural? Numenon is bound to have some information on the continent. We talk about mysterious lands and unknown wonders here. I'm confident we'll find a port so thrilling as to drive any thoughts of napping from your mind. Come, my friend. Let us be off to the archives. Okay. Fine, I'll read a book, Graha. You're twisting my arm, so... Dawn Trail. <laughs> I'm so excited. This has just made me even more excited for Dawn Trail than I already was. <laughs> Especially now that after this I'll be caught up with the MSQ. The origins of blue magic can be traced back to the esoteric practices of the Wallachi, what, Wallachi? Wallachi? A, distant, a tribe in the distant continent of Tural. The tribe holds nature in the highest, and seeking to cultivate a spiritual connection with it, they've learned to harness the power of the wildlife around them. That's such a cool lore drop for Blue Mage! In exchange for teaching them about the common tongue, I was permitted to live among them and train in their ways. Those days are some of the most grueling I remember, but they were tremendously rewarding. For instance, I had the privilege of visiting Lapis Canyon, the tribe's sacred grounds. It is so named for the cerulean deposit that wells up to the surface, turning the entire canyon a brilliant blue. Under a shaman's watchful eye, I might finally manage to master the Wallachie, Wallachie's art and make the animal's powers my own. As no name existed for it in the common tongue, I took the liberty of naming it Blue Magic. And with the reason I chose this color, as you will doubtless get gleaned, is for the significance it holds to the Wallachie. Wallachie. I cannot think of a name more fitting to honor the people from whom this noble magic was born. Wow. Adding lore like that to the, 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 the job that's been available since, like, I, can't, I don't even know how long, but I was able to get it after Realm Reborn. It's crazy. It's impossible to ad adequately discuss Eorzean cuisine without speaking of that land which from which many of our modern-day staples hail, the far western continent of Tural. Ogre pumpkins, ruby tomatoes, even the ubiquitous popoto, these crops and more than the regularly grace Eorzean dining tables trace their origins to the New World, as the place is known to most. The tale of this culinary immigration begins in the year 1498 of the Sixth Astral Era, when a lamented sailor named Kenton Run successfully traversed the Indigo Deep to arrive at the, the theretofore unknown continent. Kenton Rome spent several moons exploring inland, in the course of which he encountered the denizens of the sprawling nation of Mamulja. He was even granted an audience with, the, with their supreme leader, whose confidence he won along by, with permission to roam freely. Kenton Rome would have returned to Thoral several, several times, but during his first expedition he charted the land and gathered myriad root vegetables and seeds to bring back to Limsa Laminsa. The most notable of these was the Popoto, whose ease of cultivation and nutri nu nutritional value so it quickly spread to all causes, corners of Aeorza. Produce was far from the only bounty of Kenton Rum's expeditions to Tehran. Many tantalizing recipes such as the bean-filled burrito and gripping legends such as that of the, of the Golden City reached our shores by way of his ship. To those outside of Kenton Rum's circle, Tehran largely remains shrouded in mystery, and its influence on our cuisine cannot be overstated. Many scholars, myself included, would relish the chance to immerse themselves in the culinary culture of that faraway continent. Every land is given rise to unique wildlife. 
and to the, the continent of Tural is no exception. Yet while some of her creatures have become a familiar sight in Eorzea... Wait, doing a thing. Hold on. Uh, yet while some of her creatures have become a familiar sight in Eorzea, many more exist that are rarely seen in this side of the Indigo Deep. This term introduces uh, a select variety of species as described in the testimonies of sailors and adventurers. Alpaca, accustomed to Thoral's craggy mountain ranges, these four-legged beast kin, has been domesticated for seemingly hundreds if not thousands of years. Their soft white fleece is pr highly prized by weavers, while their strong legs and short footedness make them capable beasts of burden. Wyver, wither, this ferocious scale kin is naked native to the dense jungles of Thoral. The Mamulja have succeeded in taming them and utilize their prodigious strength for manual labor. Given their immense size and power, it should come as no surprise that the Wither is almost empl also employed as a siege beast. Enemy fortifications cannot long withstand this horned brute's rampage. Balagal Manda. Drali folklore holds that this bug like creature is the mightiest of beasts and the very embodiment of nature's power. Whether it exists beyond myth, however, is uncertain. That's the thing that she was talking about. That's so cool. Let us begin by comparing the geographical characteristics of the three great continents and Tural. The former stretches from east to west and lies entirely within the northern hemisphere. In contrast, the latter extends to the far reaches of both northern and southern hemispheres, and a difference immediately presents itself in the form of climate there. Shifts in climate tend to be gentler when moving east and west, but harsher when moving north and south. Owing to this fact, non longitudinal migration is far more com common in history, whether it be by men, animals, or plants. In case in point is the Alagans, who rose to power in Aldenard before advancing east into Ilsabad. <clears throat> Their movement would be mirrored thousands of years later by the Gallians. Meanwhile, although the disparate tribes of the Tural, of Tural waged war with one another for generations, stymied by the climate, None could make any great headways north or south. Tribes hailing from frozen lands withered beneath the desert sun, while those that thrived in open plains could not pierce dense jungle. Such was the way of it, until the leader of the Mamulja succeeded in bringing the continent under one banner. Given the land's divided history and the reason thereof, one cannot help but be in awe of this, of this feat. Truly, it is a testament to the Altarch's greatness. Having perused a wide selection of books remaining relating to Tural, are somewhat better informed about your potential destination. Variety will be eager to learn what you discover. Ha ha! Ha ha! the library to your satisfaction, have you? Excellent. While there are a few books wholly dedicated to the subject of Toral, I dare say you found tidbits of useful information scattered here and there. <clears throat> but come, let's let's continue this outside. The members do not take kindly to, the ch to chatter. Sure. Now then, I'm quite keen to hear your honest impressions. I couldn't help but notice that we read the very same book on cuisine. I was pleasantly surprised to find references to Toral within. Among them, did anything in particular pique your interest? I'm rather taken with the tale of Kintenrao. Ah yes, the renowned laments an explorer who traversed the Indigo Deep and discovered the Unknown West. And his accomplishments didn't end there. He travelled to Toral extensively, and even forged a friendship with the Dawn Sun. If we were able to meet Kenton Rum, what things we could learn. Alas, all of this happened nigh four score years ago, and he may no longer be alive to tell his tales. But moving on, did you perchance learn aught about the fauna of Tural? Given your adventuring background, I expect the topic would interest you. Bad Valley Garmanda. 
Now, why do I get the impression you're imagining pitting yourselves against this fe against the fell beast? Unfortunately, I found scant details on your would-be prey. One source simply described it as an enormous winged creature with scales hard as steel that rules the skies. I should like to see it with my own eyes, presuming it even exists. I thought I heard familiar voices. Alize! Elfie no! <laughs> I want to find it. I also want to find it. <laughs> Fancy running into the two of you here. Well, well. Have some research of your own, do you? Aye, we hope to arm ourselves with knowledge that it may benefit the Galian people. Having forged a new trade agreement with Ratzat Han, they'll look, Lex look to foster relations with other nations. This includes former Imperial provinces. In view of this, we hope to find hints in history on how neighbours of differing races and ideologies might engage with one another. And what are the two of you? What endeavour brings you here this day? Uh, we're going to Tyrell. <laughs> A nation composed of the disparate peoples of Torah. I dare say this is precisely the kind of example we seek. We do well to read up on Tuli Alans ourselves. The contest is me the only one allowed to help Wuklamar. There was no mention of such restrictions as I recall. On the contrary, Wuklamar gave us the impression that she could have several champions. <laughs> I, know, I think I know how to make the most of our respite. Follow me, Alfino. We have planning to do. Uh, Alize, wait! Ah, oh, it would seem our plans have changed. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> they never could rest on their laurels. Come, let us return to the annex. the annex we go. We're going to use this ethernet shard. Despite all that we've learned, I can't help but feel we've yet to hear the whole story. Yeah, probably. What about you, my friend? Are you inclined to accept or refuse Wuklamat's request? I'm gonna accept. I never say no to a new adventure. Ha! Huh. I thought you might say that. <laughs> With an intrepid attitude such as yours, I believe all shall be well. Be it the contest or something else, there will be many trials for you to overcome at your destination. But in the course of seeing new lands and meeting new people, you'll surely find a way forward. That's what adventurers do, is it not? Yeah. Such a journey would be the envy of many a scholar. Distant as it is, Tural remains largely unknown to us with only meager records to be found in Numenon. 
the experiences to be had. All the things you might hear, feel, and think. He said the thing! It's enough to stir me to the core. He said the words! Life is a That's probably the last time I'm ever going to hear those words in that order. There's no telling what awaits us on the long road. Wow. But what's important is to be true to yourself as you walk it. I will. Only then can we hope to be content when we arrive at the end of one and step forward into another. Ah, but there's an idea. Yeah, what is it? What is it, Raha? I have a matter to attend to at the Agora. Please go on inside. I will join you shortly. Raha, uh -huh, what are you, what, what are you, what are you, what are you doing, Raha? Uh -huh? What, 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 what are you doing? Are you gonna come back with a paintbrush too, or are you gonna come back with two swords? Great jump scare. Welcome back, Mia. If you're looking for Wuglama, she's currently in the others with the others in her chambers. If you like, I can go and fetch them for you. Understood. Please wait in the main hall. God, look at that. Yeah, I, was, I had a feeling they wanted us to look at the map. You have the look of someone who's made up their mind. Go on then. Let's hear it. I wish to boldly go where I've never gone before. Hm. Then you need me as much as I need you. Together we'll blaze new trails in Tural. New dawn trails? Sorry. <laughs> How is it? Planning to leave without us, are you? <laughs> I love these people so much. <laughs> What are you two doing here? We had to cross paths at Numenon earlier, you see, and I told them about Wuklamat. And when we fortuitously met again at the Agora just now, they expressed an interest in meeting our visitor. Hi. Ah, you must be the twins who are sneaking after Aaronville's toads. <laughs> about us. You could have told her, and you chose that. <laughs> I mean, it did happen. Impressions last. Fair point. <laughs> I love them so much. <laughs> Tis an honor and a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Your Highness. Alphano oh, Levia at your service, and this is my sister Alize. Oh no, let's not do that. I really can't stand titles. <laughs> so, you want to participate in the contest too, is that right? Indeed we do. Hell fucking yeah, baby. You've been assisting with the rebuilding effort in Garlemald. Yet while progress is being made, the question remains of how the nation might reconcile with its neighbors. 
We believe there is much we might learn from Tuliolo, a nation founded on unity. And in return for this honor, we would spare no effort in supporting your claim. Hell yeah. The more the merrier, I say. And I'd be keen to learn about Eorzea and Garlimald from you as well. Having recruited so many committed and capable allies, I presume you have no need for my continued assistance? <laughs> Nonsense. Like I told you before, you're indispensable. <laughs> you're strong, I. Eh? But strangers to our land. They need someone to guide them. To point out the dangers and spare the grizzlyness. I can't think of anyone better suited to that task than you. What's more, despite your assertions, I know you haven't given up on this city of gold. Ryan, what's up? As I recall, Cryon. You were the first to stake your desire to visit Tural. Perhaps I was. Oh, are you having second thoughts? Still, I can't help but worry about being away just when our order is beginning to find its feet again. You'll be okay. You'll be okay, Cryon. You have nothing to worry about. People have things in hand here. I haven't forgotten how you held the fort while I set off to explore Alzadal's legacy. It's only fair that I return the favor. No! Pray, leave the students to Ojika and me. But, Ra. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to retrace your grandfather's steps, don't you? Mm -hmm. This is a rare opportunity, and I insist that you seize it. Yeah. I'm someone else, I want them both to come. Me too! <laughs> Thank you, Raha. Thank you. Aww. Well, looks like it's settled. I'm counting on you all to help me win the throne. We will. I suppose now is a good time to show you what I spent a small fortune on at the Agora. A full small fortune? <clears throat> oh, is it a map of Tural? There. Is it a map of Tural? Oh, it's the map this, of the entirety of Atheris. is the latest map of the world. Created to celebrate our friendship with the Loperitz. Cast your eyes west of Charlian, for there it lies. This is what I see disappeared once. No one can. The site no one can. They disappeared a second time. Tural. Oh my God! Look at it. Oh, and you're playing the song. Shadows touch the garden footfalls engraved in ash. Fire will be repaid for our echoes begin to fade away. Hey, hey. Oh, I love this game. Alfie, no! <laughs> I love this game so much. <laughs> Done it. I've caught up. Look! Oh my god! 
Look at her! Oh, that's so cute! Story so along the way. Tales of loss and fire and faith. Oh my god, I love this fucking game. <laughs> my wife! I love her. I love Ishtola. She's my wife. I love her so much. Look at her. Completely caught up, baby. All I gotta do now is the raids. It's in the end! <laughs> Storm of blood, born from blood of our fallen brothers. Thunder stilled, all's fulfilled, now we are for freedom! Stained in red, bound by blood, purpose fed, courage thrives, hand in hand. Sounds of light, forge ahead, forward, Rion J. Tataru! <laughs> I want to see Tataru before we go to Taral. I want to see her before we go to Taral. I want to see her. They better let us see her before we go to Taral. I swear to God. So oh, I love her so much. I love Vana. Oh my god, I love her. I love her. <laughs> Gay? Yes, very. Xenos. She's gonna give us her latest outfit. Literally! One brings shadow, one brings light. Two tone decos tumbling through time. Tumbling down to the never! <laughs> the man who is finally dead. <laughs> Okay, this I can speed up. Every step we take echoes in our way, winding round our fate to forge ahead. Should we lose our way? Tire of all this pain, we won't be afraid to forge ahead. Fearless hearts ablaze, no more time to waste. No, it's not too late to forge ahead. Should we lose right again? There you go. To another end where it all begins. Forge ahead. <sighs> Can you tell I like this game? <laughs> oh my god. Can you tell I like this game? <laughs> Holy shit. Da 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 I just wanted to hear the end of Footfalls.
the last thing I do in the MSQ until Dawn Train. Lest you wonder about your passage to Tural, Erinville will arrange a ship through his, through his guild. You need only worry about your own preparations. Speaking of which, please take this wig with you. A rugged and ready knapsack! May it serve you well in your coming adventures. Now, I'm not sure when departure will be. I am. <laughs> the rest is short, I'll let you know when I hear something. Till then, please take your ease. That is the last main story quest. Until Dawn Trail comes out. Meanwhile in Limsa. Oh. Estinian, what you doing? When does the next ship set sail? June 28th. May I ask your destination? Tural. The north and east I have already seen. <laughs> I suppose I'll head west this time. West, you say? <sighs> Let's go, Estinian. I was wondering how you were going to get there. Meanwhile, an old Charlian, we're back in Charlian. Urian J. Oh, letter. The husbands, the husbands, they are together. I see you've made up your mind. I had a feeling you'd be keen. <laughs> Look at them. But to think that our comrades too are thither bound. The room fate doth work <laughs> in mysterious ways. Reen's two dads. <laughs> Indeed. It will be a grueling task having to contend with them. Oh! They're going to be our opponents! If the prospect doth trouble thee, it is not too late to decline the petition. They're going to be our opponents, are they? Though thine expression would suggest thou art far from perturbed. <laughs> I'll try my best not to kill you. Knowing what's to come. I'll try my hardest not to kill you. <laughs> then let us delay no further and secure passage on a vessel. Fuck yeah. This will be a mission to remember. Thancred, what doth you be looking at? <laughs> Come, my friend. We oh, you're so much more than friends. You are so much more than friends. <laughs> what about Ishtola? If I get competitive and diabolical playing Mario Kart, thank you to the Rionji stand, no chance! <laughs> Same here. Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the bounty? Oh, it's so. No, not yet. For the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of blind frost in Offert's north. No, no, I haven't. The fabled golden cities of the new world. Well, there I'm going. Thanks for giving me a destination, Emmett. I also miss Emmett. Xenos, I don't miss. Emmett, I miss. Way anchor now, the tide is high. 
And dawn, dawn of a new adventure nigh. Row forth to break Horizon's bond and tread the gilded path beyond. Wow. To be continued. To be continued. Every day I mourn him. <laughs> if only I could hear his a test of your reflexes one more time. <laughs> hey, I wanted to see I wanted to finish it today. And that's what I did. Where should I go to end stream? End our incredible journey, spanning across 63 streams, across how long? 22, I, I, I'm too tired to do maths. Across 533 hours, top of Kugane Tower, I am not climbing Kugane Tower again. <laughs> However, I think it's fit to start to finish where we started. The great city of Limsalaminsa. Let's find a good place to take a photo. <sighs> Where's the sun? Let's get a good photo. Now that I've finished the MSP. Uh, I mean, victory is one of my favorite poses. So I want to do something like jump for joy. Which one do I like most? That one's a good one. That one's also a good one. I think this one's my favorite. Long back in, immediately get greeted by three people playing music and limited in chat, being filled with all kinds of degeneracy. I wouldn't have it any other way, baby. <laughs> Of course we gotta go with this. What filter do we want? Hell yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm... I've really done it. Imagine a 14 Fantasy is basically just like Limsa. Probably. <laughs> I desperately want to go to one. Me too. I also desperately want to go to one. God. 
I've caught up. <laughs> the thing that I thought would take me, like, years, has taken me eight months. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this game is incredible. I, I, I've literally said it, like, hundreds of times already. But play this fucking game. Play this game, please. It's so good. <laughs> It is a, I know it has like millions of people playing already, but play this game. I never thought I'd be caught up for Dawn Trail. Neither would I. I! I was fully expecting to have to play through Dawn Trail like a month, like a couple months after everyone else. But no! Here I am! Ready to do it on the day it comes out with everyone else. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. For all of the 14 streams. For the past eight months. <laughs> They're not done. Oh, absolutely not done. We still got all the raids to do. And all the side stuff that I that I haven't done in post-game yet. But that'll be tomorrow. <laughs> Can we to spend five minutes trying to click on something a huge crowd? <laughs> Oh, it's never done. This game is never gonna be finished. But yeah, that's for tomorrow. Where I do the raids. Which I'm very excited for. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you tomorrow for that.